Microphone check, one, two. Skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini yo, Scorpio yo, podcast yo, is here. Yo. Uh, sheesh, episode 34. 34. 34 and blessed, man. Uh, Hila Bay is here. Of course, I'm in the building. Um, Alex Alexander is. Alex, the blog. The I don't know why. On, man. Alex you know, Alexander. That's our guy, though. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. Shout Shout out him. Alexander the Blanc is in the building. Uh, Joseph D. Friend is in the building. Uh, Lante is in the building. I got it right the first time. Monique is in the building. Yeah. Uh, Julian is here. Malachi is here. Cast 22 is here. Shout out to Cast 22. That's what we're we smoking. Know. You already know. And special guest host. Jasmine is in the building. Hey, it's, it's I'm going to need you to call me by my Instagram. Oh, Miss Grenway? Miss Grenway? Miss Grenway is here today. Jasmine, y'all saw Jasmine yesterday. Today it's Miss Grenway's day. I mean, if that's okay. what you if that's what you want, that's, that's, that's what, what it is. That's what it is. If that's, that's what you prefer, that's what it is. And then when they miss don't shame me. Make sure you let them know how yeah. to say it. Miss Gren away, yes. not Greenway. Miss Greenway, yes. Miss Greenway, Greenway. Mm, okay, so um, how is that? How we start? Shady, know how we start. shady. Y'all know how we start. How was y'all week? How are we gonna go around the room? So first of all, I just want to drop this disclaimer because I know everybody gonna be like, I've been asking to get on the podcast. I've been asking to get on the podcast because I already been getting hit with that. All right. This was a very, you know, we just had to let Jasmine know. This was a very Miss Grenaway. No, oh, I'm, I'm feel so sorry. honored to be here. Yeah, you should because we've been denying requests left and right, and I don't want to hear nobody's mouth about it. You know, a lot was put into that. You know, what I'm saying off the fact that you know the bitch is smart. Okay, she's smart. She's oh, smart. you make me feel so special. Oh, you know, Am I that's... smart? I'm smart. You well She's rounded. I'm well rounded. There we go. Well rounded. Exactly. You know, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you're smart, but yeah, no, yeah. but she's very well-rounded, well rounded. Yeah. So you know, not to say that y'all not. It's just you know, some things is just what it is. So boom, week was cool. What did I do this week? I don't even know, but I know yesterday we it was supposed to be a calm Saturday. It ended up turning into hookah drinks, nightcap. It was a long day, so I'm a little tired, but I'm up. I'm waking up. Other than that, real chill week. I ain't really do too much this week. And I feel like the summer is ending. And it's actually getting on my fucking nerves that I'm not doing anything. Don't be ungrateful. And it was raining all week. And it, like, yeah, that too was really gloomy. I was in a, sh you know, it was giving yeah. me shitty mood. I didn't like it. It was giving you buzzkill. <laughs> it was buzzkill. So like, I need to take a shit today because I'm backed up. So not there we that go. I was. That, that we not that I was taking shits is good for you, so you don't not be upset. That I was. No, I was taking shits. It was just the weather. It was just giving me mood. Okay. So other than that, you know, it's almost the last couple of weeks of the summer. Like, please, somebody, Airbnb, pull me. Don't be ungrateful. You didn't did me. ten trips. You didn't did a hundred cookouts. Please, Airbnb, pull me, jacuzzi me, boat me. You feel Yacht what I'm saying? Me. For the, you know, you don't. You're okay. <laughs> Something, please. <laughs> Thank you. Alex, how you was know? how was your week, bro? Week was cool, man. Trying to get back in the gym. That's the biggest thing. That ain't hold me accountable. Only so wait, you didn't go to the gym? One time. One, mm. All right, but you know what? That's progress. Nah. So I'm look, not look, going. Look, look. One time. That's, that's, that's no, progress. Because no. when's the last time you went to the gym? Before that. Like before my birthday. Bro, I wasn't. That was a while that's ago. like a month. That wasn't shit, bro. I was saying, mm, because I was looking at like you holding the mic and you know I'm just a stickler on how shit look. And I'm like, man, we're going to do this fundraiser. For a thousand dollars, so we can get these mics and get the mic stand. So, because like, mic stand. you look, you look crazy over there. Bro. No, you don't. First of all, it's don't let him. You know what I'm saying? Come on. It's all good. I try. That's I tried. how he look when he holding. Why he hosting? I, I could have held the mic, but I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna turn to a rapper. So, fuck it. Yeah, and that kind of look weird too with the. the but it's, we're going to get it popping. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get it popping. Jay's just a stickler on his yeah. equipment. Yeah, thank God for real. You know, perfectionist yeah. Jay. Miss Greenaway. Dad Jay. Jazz. How was your week, man? What you do this week? My week was actually pretty chill. Um, I did gain a little bit of weight, which I'm not happy about. So I was a little bit in a bad mood because of that. So but, it must um, be a Scorpio thing, cause like yeah, when we gain weight, we're feisty. Yeah, but y'all was just both in bad moods. Like, did you take a but, shit this week? Well, it was I'm on my period this week. Yeah, that so like so we blow like and we do pick up like yeah. yo when you blow and, you, I don't and think I'm know. one of those people we who pick get, up like five to ten pounds just five off pounds the just off of bloating. Yeah. yeah. And then, then we can't even eat, and then we want sweets. Absolutely, so now it's every five time, to 10 and now. then it drops off literally the day I get off. Then I was craving sugar because you crave sugars. Your body yeah. retains more um, salt and water, so it's like it's a. I'm a big bitch. Bloat. Yeah, I'm. I'm. <laughs> nah, <laughs> don't say it. Not yet. I'm big. Okay, big. I'm a, a I'm, a, I'm a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> I did a lot of work. And Yo, that's what on? I do every week. I I feel like all I do is fucking work. 
Hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah. So my week was hustle, hustle, hustle. And Broke. blow. And blow. Period. Hustle, blow, and be depressed. Period. Literally. And then be, I'm, a, I'm like a fucking, what are those people, a manic. Like, I was super <laughs> depressed. The next thing you know, I was like, yesterday, wilding the fuck out. Right, and here singing rap lyrics. We were singing Young Thug for hours. I mean, we did a whole Young Thug tribute. Shout yes. out to Young Thug. If you don't know, go. Yes, shout out, shout out to them, man. Let's 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 get into let's get into this podcast, oh, man. What's All right. happening? What's happening? What's happening? Bay Hill is on you. Come on, let's get it. Uh <laughs> God damn. Catch twenty two. <laughs> so not with the winks. <laughs> I know. I want to see how that looks on camera because I don't even know how to wink. Okay, so boom. So my topic for today, I've been, you know, just thinking on, I've seen this meme that has gone around a few times and I've seen like girls talking about it. And then I had a friend kind of say something similar. So I kind of want to address it. So like the actual meme I've seen, and I'm, we're going to break it down. The meme was like, there's two types of men in the world. There's the one that I got it. I'll fix it. It's getting done. And then there's the man that, damn, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man, let me know how I go. Yeah, like, <laughs> you need damn, to get I'm that a- fixed. I'm praying, <laughs> I'm praying for you. So she Good luck with that in the shit. morning. Tell her I pray for the kid. <laughs> what a time this is <laughs> to be alive for the kid. <laughs> hey, yo, Drake's what? a fucked up nigga. He's anyway, a, he's got the shade and all this. It song. must be a Scorpio thing. It is it big Scorpio yeah, vibes. Big you Scorpio. already know the vibes. Come on, I don't even know. I feel like I don't know if Jay did this on purpose. I feel like. I'm, let me show you how a Gemini can battle two Scorpios, not one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, That's crazy, I almost say, like, I, I just thought of, like, I, that was my thought right now. Like, yeah, like, I know. Like, y'all ain't shit. Yeah. I mean, we are is... the shit, though. Period. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> but we it's... took a shit this week. We are the shit, and we ain't shit. Period. Shitty people. <laughs> Right, yeah, you right. The fuck out of here. You got it. So, <laughs> you right. Absolutely. The, the shit. Okay, the shit. The shit. Yeah. Okay. Whole okay. lot of games. Like the Blanc, the shit. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? I'm about to change my name to the mirror right now. <laughs> right, so yeah, basically, so what's going on with um so, <laughs> the, these niggas that's so boom. So yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out like what are like the expectations on how a man is supposed to, I guess. Like what, what the like what stage is it? Like it's no longer like I'll fix like I like damn that's crazy, but I'll fix it. What's the fucking stage? When I come to fix it, that's the stage. <laughs> and that's why I and fucking hate that, men because it's like God, what the fuck is that? And who said that you guys get to decide that? Yeah, like so is it what like about what do I you? Want? Okay, so let me ask you this: Are you more inclined to help a girl that you're friends with that you're not fucking? Or a girl that you're fucking when it comes to like, oh, I caught a flat tire. You asking me personally? Yes. yes. Me personally, I'm gonna help both. That's just how, how the type of person I am. So, so like, so nobody's special. I so, feel like so. So no, I gotta be special. <laughs> hold the fuck on, because nobody's special. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta be at least your do favorite. Us, don't do it for them. Yeah, you feel? All right. So, so I mean, you seen somebody with a flat tire on the side of the road, mm-mm. or just a random? No, I'm talking about. Uh, like, no, I'm you, talking about not like oh, randomly I see somebody. I'm talking about like, hey. I'm on the side of the road. I got a flat tire. So that's look what, at this. He's off his. We talked about. Okay. We, talk, we talked about. So help me, nigga. God damn. I do think, I gotta send an SOS? I think we talked about. No, I will. That's what I'm saying. I think we talked about this before, though. I think <laughs> girls aren't. This boils down to girls not being used to good men. Because what happens is like I didn't had home girls that I wasn't doing anything with. I had home girls that I was doing anything with, doing things with, and they called me like, "Yo, and I just caught this flat. All right, bet I'm about to pull up." Now she's like, so "Oh my god, he's so my." Three, so three in the morning, you laying with your bitch. Your friend call, I'm on the side of the road, and she call you. What you she doing? She would never call me at three in the morning if I got a girlfriend. But again, if then I'm- what kind of friend is that? Because my nigga's going to call me. Hey, it could be six in the morning. Hey, hey get up. What you doing? We out. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Your homeboy. No, because we're friends. So it's like, but like okay. I'll give you an Jay's example. Jay's always like friendship. I'm big on friendship. I'm what? big on friendship. So, so then that's not a real friend. No, that's, that's not somebody true. That you, fr- like you gotta understand your relationship. Yeah, your friend because respects okay. your, 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 your your friend respects. Okay, so what you maybe got going because on. I wow. feel like if we're friends, like you could be a boy or a girl, like you could call me. So they just know to respect it off the jump. I mean, now if, if you, I don't answer, like okay, so if I call you, if Shade I call Shade at three in the morning, are you gonna feel away? No. Am I disrespecting your relationship? Don't lie, because we were out at three o'clock in the morning last night. I'm about Probably to blast. Not. No, wait. I said, wait. <laughs> blast, I didn't even blast, answer that question. Blast, right. Probably not. Hold on, hold on. Run that back. You said if you call Sade. Like, like, that don't have nothing yeah. to do. Yeah, no. Nothing. Because I'm a girl. If he calls her at three o'clock in the morning, you going to feel away? 
Why would I call her after? Yeah, her? like see what I'm saying. So, 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 what I, so, so because aunt, if it's strictly platonic. So if 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 uh I don't know her brother slash friend, it ain't her blood. You know what I'm saying? If he called, I probably would be like, all right, bet. Let's help him out. Let's go get okay, him. Okay, so all then right. you wouldn't feel away. So then, nah. but so, okay, so that's why she now said. Now, with some random nigga girl... that you said, yo, I used to message this nigga 10 years ago. Like, <laughs> no, yo, what the fuck is this nigga going to call him? I'm saying like, like a actual friend. Platonic like yeah. friend. So, but even if even, honest. Even with your girlfriend, if your actual friend, like, say, yeah. y'all say, like, that's, boom, you and Tim call with her, Tim ain't answer, she call you, like, yo, I really Even honestly, even even if Tim's girlfriend was to call me, or if one of my blind brother's girlfriends was to call me, I feel like that's different because it's, it's like the you gotta, same. Help, you gotta kind of help the family. That's kind of like family so even at if, that point. Even if I had a, if Monique was to call me at three o'clock, like yo, I try to call each other. Well, I don't know, or like a friend that I'm not friends with, your friend, not my friend. Just strictly, she may be your friend, not my friend. Yeah, I probably if, if they call me at three o'clock, more than likely I'm gonna help them because I know they they not they not friend. calling See, me like, at three o'clock. Like they not call like they, that's, that's not that call is not okay. happening. You know what I'm saying? But if you call me, you know what I'm saying? Like if you call me, then then it's real. Just a question, one more time. Ah, oh. Yeah. Oh. So, but you already kind of like so. As a friend, you should know not to call your friend with a partner at that three a.m. It depends on the relationship. Oh. Like I know certain. Oh, I got. got, I got it's always something. I got. Different. Listen, I got a lot of apologies to give out because, like, my one of my good men will call me at any time. They know what's up. Like if it's three o'clock, four o'clock, like all right, it's an emergency, you're gonna hit me up. But I'm saying usually that phone call doesn't happen if you're in a relationship from my experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're single and y'all friends, like, y'all know he ain't doing shit, you know what I'm saying? But it changes when from, I know he ain't doing shit to, nah, this nigga probably laid up with his girl, I don't even want, you know what I'm saying? I but, got a quick question, just a quick question. This might throw <laughs> off just a little bit. So let's just for example, I just want a question. It's just a question. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday, mm -hmm. right? Boom. You know, a lot of your friends hit you at 12 a.m. Yeah. If like your guy friend or your girlfriend hits you at 3 a.m., like send you voice messages, happy birthday, all these things like that. Is that like a problem? Is like that bad? I'll give you a better one. I was in a relationship last year and my friend got me a better gift than my man. Ooh. But that's that's my dog, though. And it's strictly platonic. He never did nothing. He had a girlfriend at the time, everything. And he got me a better gift than my man. He was, oh, you know what he was doing? You want to be real? <laughs> He's just putting his bed in for after when it's done. So even when this girl is done and, 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 and your situation was done, he putting his bed in. So what happened is a lot of niggas, they be fishing, right? So a lot of times, fishing is like a patience game. I'm you just stressed put it in the water else. and you just she wait. You, you just wait for the bacon. Yeah, like, the but see, yeah. I don't, but see, but he, he has more money city. than my man. So his gift might not have been as much of meaning. It's not, it might not have been, been no meaning to it. Right, no, but, but it was just, it was a, just a better gift. I don't think that's true though. Because honestly, I feel like if, if it meant that much for you to remember that it was better and for you to All repeat right. it, okay. then okay. clearly it had some meaning okay, to so it. Like, no, I'm like, saying it had not, meaning to it as far as like, uh, is a gift yet? Yeah, of yeah, course it had meaning, nice, but it wasn't like for him. I ain't got I, as much money as him. So for me, it was like, oh, wow, like, thanks. thank you. But like from him, it might not have been nothing. Nothing, right? Mm. But it was better than what my man got me. But why would even? Why? I ain't gonna lie. A bitch give my nigga a better gift than me. I'm about to see her. Bro, I'm gonna pull take up. that shit and yeah. bash her in the fucking skull. Why would you do that? We probably <laughs> can share it together. I like ain't sharing you, nothing. Right. A bitch. You fuck around. Give me something that we have to help us both. Jason did to me one time in the beginning of the relationship. I never forget this shit. He had some coconut oil, right? Uh -huh. Some some uh, one of his friends gave him like coconut oil for his hair, his beard, and stuff like that. So at the time I didn't really like the shorty because you know it was just too much little weird shit going on, and I like I had used the coconut oil. This nigga going chuckle mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for you to sure not like somebody. You, you sure, sure like the one she bought you? I swear to God, I would have took a that bitch shit. better never buy oh, him another. Put, thing. You know what? I'm not even gonna tell you what I would have did with it. <laughs> just know they would have found know. coconut oil. <laughs> And somebody's fucking DNA on a cold case. Some shits because y'all feel it for, for some bullshit. But look, yo, back back to what we talking about. So um, my real point is like, we are went. women supposed to feel away when a guy says, "Damn, you know, I feel bad for you. That's crazy." Should they just take that, or it's like if you don't do it, like I'm good off you. It de it depends what you're looking mm -hmm. for in that person. Because say I'm dating them. So, that mean, because that's the type of person. Done. No, if that's the type of person I am, I don't understand that that type of man because that's not how I'm built. So but it's is never it wrong for a man to be that way. Since you are not that type of man, say like your friend is that way. Would you understand his perspective? Like, yeah, I'm dating her, but like I ain't really about to see. Do that's that. how but people you're, get left. You're, you're the type of man that's just gonna do it. But it's say like 
it's just like I, I mean, mean I'm, I'm the type girl, of, but I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm the type you, of, you I'm think the that's type okay? of man that eat my girl ass. So like a lot of niggas ain't built like that. He's like. Good point, babe. Good point. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that was a great point. That's all I'm saying. That like, a, a lot of niggas just ain't built the same, and they don't take nothing away from that man. But in the end, we'll see. But how, even like we'll eating ass, ass. Is it like is it like wrong or right? Like, I don't know. It's perspective. It's it's all about it's subjective. I'm a grown okay, ass. So, so this is the same thing as eating. But ass. then see, it's subjective. But see, I feel like as a grown woman, you cannot do it. Be my guest, but somebody gonna do it. I mean. Somebody's going to do it, but that's when it comes into you if that's what you come. want. No, it's not even about what I want. It's like, like but, because so, if I fuck with you and I'm on the side of the road, I'll give y'all an example. I just got a a new car. My my other car was a little bit older, and it left me on the side of the road twice. Mm -hmm. So the first time, I fixed it myself. The second time, it was getting troublesome. I called three different guys. Right, I called my nigga. I called my friend. And I called a nigga that was pursuing me. Mm. So you had a nigga pursuing you, even though you had, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I, hey, my lifestyle, <laughs> my lifestyle's wild. <laughs> so listen, it was it, there's other circumstances involved though. Right. I'm not gonna. And he it, wasn't like it he, wasn't it was like, like a, he we, wasn't your boyfriend, but he was. Please, because I'm trying. Just, I'm trying to. Okay, <laughs> so because it's like all right, relax. circumstances. Not everyone is there. Like everybody. Okay, everybody knows what's going on, so it's fine. I'm a very honest person. Okay. So. Okay, the my nigga said, I'm worried about you. Let me know like what if, when they get there, the tow people, whatever. <laughs> the friend said, yeah, the friend said, Sheesh. now you wonder why I got to come. So the friend <laughs> said, damn, that's crazy. But I'm at this pool party in Vegas. So when you're done, pull up. No, are you coming out here? Nigga, I'm on the I'm side, on the side of, the, of the, road. the fucking road. Okay. Right. And, and the, the guy that, the guy that was you? pursuing me said, I'm going to send you the down payment for a new car. Wait, right what? now. <laughs> like, wait, wait. Hey, but he still ain't come get you from the side of the road, so I don't give a fuck. He didn't live here. Nobody lived here. But still, I, so so listen, so I get the... I get <laughs> Nobody the, lives so nobody here. Nobody came and rescued Right, right. right. So that's still bullshit. No, I did get... First of all, I got triple A, so I was rescued. Oh, so, so what are we and talking I about? Hold y'all. I was on my way somewhere else, and I got there it's, fine. It's the point. It's, it's the, the point. point. It's they, stay it's focused. Okay. Stay, stay focused. focused. My point is this. Because it's... Stay focused. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. The first nigga... Which is was your boyfriend? No, your man. Yeah, that's what you introduced yeah, him to. Yeah, you introduced him as, 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 as my nigga. nigga. My nigga, my boyfriend. No. Like my, no. like my. No. The Absolutely nigga not. I was, the nigga Wait, I was what? the most. My nigga don't mean my boyfriend. The nigga I was the most involved with. No, no, no. The nigga I was the most involved with. Like I don't. No, no, that's gross. Like my nigga don't mean. Like there's. That's it. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you straight up. My nigga is the nigga that I'm actually that I've. Fucked or I'm fucking. The right. other two, Just like they're not well, fucking or they may not. I'm not calling nobody fuck. my bitch unless she's my bitch. You, I but that's a lot of niggas who do it. I know, yeah, like, and I know some on. of your friends that Let's do be it. Be real. But, okay. So, but my point is this: the None first nigga, the first nigga was concerned about me, but you clearly weren't that concerned about me because you didn't do anything. Right. The se the second nigga, he didn't give a fuck at all. So right. I can't even. That's it. The third nigga, it's like, damn. How do you, you just got to know me and you're the first one, like I'm sending you the down payment so you can get a new car. I don't want you on the side of the road. So that's how that situation works. There's men who will win, men who won't. That's why I say you cannot do it, but somebody's okay, going to do it. And that's how you lose your fucking spot. Let's go to this though. It's men who can who, and men who can't. Like, first of all, like, let's not, the money no, shit no, don't no, have no, nothing. No, 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 it's not about money. money. Hold up, hold up. Just friend number two, tire, got, friend number two got more money than but, the pursuer. So that don't, that's not, that's not true. But that, I don't even okay, think it's in terms of It's not about money. It's about what are you going to do for me? If Listen, I'm not rich, but I'm a, if you, if my nigga hits me and he's in a jam, I'm nigga, I got out. you because I called, fuck with you. You right. called guy number two. He was where? In, in Vegas. Vegas. Right, right? Okay, but so the other nigga didn't live anywhere. Else. No, I'm just saying. Like, he wasn't turn. He mind. wasn't not. Nah, like, he wasn't. He wasn't. Right state he wasn't of mind. No, he was. He was. He was coherent. He was coherent, <laughs> he was coherent <laughs> enough to see that I was on the side of the fucking road. He was coherent enough to call. So he was coherent. It wasn't like so he was super late. And all right. So what? So what are we saying that? That there's gonna be there's gonna be niggas who say, oh damn, that's crazy, and there's gonna be niggas who's gonna do it. However, you might not be fucking with the nigga who's gonna do it. That's how you lose your spot. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, I mean, I agree so, with that. So, agree. so all the men out there, you better do it. Somebody's going to do I it. I agree. Yeah. Somebody's going to do it. There's more women in the world than men, okay? Period. And that's Somebody's going to do it. We, 
But I think that's that's kind of opposite. Of, that's the no, opposite no, of no, like no, that's what we thinking. Like no. it's more y'all. So if your shit is fucked up, I'm gonna find another one of you. That's but, who shit ain't okay, fucked up. But but, 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 but uh, men are. I'm gonna find somebody who uh, car ain't uh, fucked up. So have men, a good day. But men are in competition though. Men are in competition. No, we not because there's more women in the world than there are men. So but, I don't but, ain't no competition. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hey, like first but, of all, yeah, a lot of y'all be wanting the same bitches okay. too. So it's not. Oh, yeah. If it was that many bitches in the world, when I say there's more women, first of all, half the women y'all don't want. But that's yeah. Like yeah. Speak on it. Let's go. Half the, men, half the women y'all don't want. Yes. That yes. narrows it down. Yes. Half the women are out and of your age range or under your age range. Facts. So when it comes to like your age, the group. ratio, your age group, you're in competition. Especially at the age we're at now. Let's be real. It's competition. Ain't no competition over here. I'm sorry. I mean, y'all locked in. What? Y'all locked in. Even before me and Shadé was no competition. And what? And ain't no competition and no woman that I want. Okay. If you if you if okay. it's competition, I don't want you. I'm good. I'm but then girl. why would you want a woman nobody's that's competing cap. for? No, she must be a piece of shit. She must be a piece of shit. Nobody wants her. Cap. I mean, she must be disloyal. Right? Right? She's you told me something. Yes, I'm about to let's go into it. Right, you value yourself because that's that's, that's human nature. If you value yourself, somebody should be working to get you because you're not just giving it up. So well, why does it have to be competition in that regard? Just I mean, let's be real. There's competition when it comes to pursuing <laughs> people. So no matter this who you are, so, man, woman, so in maybe. A, a, example, right? One of my ex, my, my ex girlfriend was messing with somebody, and I literally told her, "If you mess with him, holler at me when you're done." I, that, that was and literally she did. my and right. Exactly. And she did. And she did. And she did. But that's what I'm saying. Up in his girlfriend. But that's what I'm but, saying. But that's what you think it was. I would leave me for like, another bitch. No, I'm not at you when I'm done. Like, I, and, try, and come back. That's boy, not leaving like, me. I wish you would I, choose and go who, to on a date who, or talk to whoever over me. me. You're but done. That's, but that shows, but that shows that there's no competition. No, because it is, though. I'm fucking. Like, I'm good. Like, you over here waiting. Right. Like, I'm like, yo. And I literally said, I said, yo. And we ain't shit, nigga. You ain't shit. I used to be you not shit. Shit. That's why I can relate and understand the bullshit. Like, no, come on, I'm like, not ain't shit. No, yeah, I'm you not. is. No, like, no, just, no, 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 no. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a difference between being playing your cards right and being ain't shit. I'm right. not no ain't shit person. Cool. All right, respect. So yeah. what I'm saying is, I'm gonna just be honest. I was the biggest fuck nigga because the fuck nigga was the good guy, but just couldn't narrow it down. Like that's what I found out. That was the fuck nigga. So I was that fuck nigga. So what I'm saying is. When I was doing narrow my, it down, yeah, what the like fuck the fuck is nigga, that? So what I mean by that is like you know <laughs> some niggas, some some people are good people like myself, right? Uh huh. But it's a difference between being a good nigga and like knowing what you want. I hope I'm explaining it right, right? So like you, if you're a good nigga to like five different girls, you're a fuck boy. That's that's what I've understood because now you're playing games, like you're you're leading girls on. If you're lying about it, absolutely. Nah, but you could be telling the truth and still be a fuck boy. Like you could be like you could be. Honest, because girls say they want, you can tell a girl to, uh, honestly, no, but if I say we're not together, but I'm still doing together shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a yeah fuck you a fuck nigga. Well, I think, I think you're sure. a fuck nigga when you're leading someone on and you know that the intention is not to do that. Fair. Right, and, right. But, you, but what I'm saying is you still can tell them, hey, I don't want anything. And they still won't listen. Right, so that, I'm but that's not a fuck nigga. That's a dumb bitch. Right. So no. So what? I'm just taking my. I'm just looking at myself in okay. the mirror and say, you know what? Maybe I was a fuck boy and I'm my own man. All right. I'm so, not a fuck girl. Okay. I guess we got. And I mean, it's accountability things. Clearly with Scorpios, but anything. Oh. Anyway, uh, oh. when it comes, when it comes, <laughs> when it when it comes Shit. to that, right? Like I said, oh. there was no competition. She told me who she was talking to at the time. I said, have fun. Hit me when you're done. Period. Ain't no competition. <laughs> Because I'm not about to fuck the, nigga, but a good person, guys, there's competition. Ain't no, I'm not about to <laughs> bad. Oh, he took you where? Okay, bet we going no, there. I don't, you know, think I don't mean that. That's, no, not no, that's, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. mean. That's, that's what that's competition what I mean. is to me. We so compete. maybe, so maybe, that's so maybe, okay, means, so maybe it's a silent competition, but to us, it's a competition like that's how you narrow it down. Let's be real. You only narrow it down by comparison. You can't okay, narrow it down fair. by being like, oh, everybody, I like everybody, so I'm going to pick one out of a hat. No, no you narrow right. it down by, what's by comparison. Right. That's a competition because at this point, you're like, okay, she's she got this. this. I like her this yeah, way. Yeah, but she's she got does. this. I'm not really but then I vibe with her. It is. As, then, we, as we wrap it up, right? You, you, you are right. What I will say is, though, I, a lot of times in my, I'm, in, in my case, I ain't going to speak for all men, but the girl that you end up with is the one that trick bag you. Like, she the one that, like, trap you in. See, that's the thing. The that's the problem. Hold up. I don't like that. I'm going to tell y'all why. Who the fuck trick bag Jay? No, I'm going to tell y'all why I don't like that. <laughs> 
Not well, trick so yeah, bag, no, but she really make that. you choose. No, the thing is, Jay want to say I trick bag them, but no, he no. was all in. Like yeah, I ain't trick bag you, nigga. You, you know yourself. what the, you, you know so <laughs> accountability. You know accountability from the day. Hold up, let's be real. Let's be real. You know what? You know what the fuck you going know. on. The issue is. It's either some people that you want it with and you just don't want it with. Sometimes, what was the Jasmine Sullivan song? I'm in love with another man. Like, yeah, you're great and he ain't shit, but I just love him. That's how you get with somebody. It's not really a trick back thing. It's like, all right, you like, you I like what I like. I like what I like. Yeah, I like, I I like, I like. I Even said, if her flaws outweigh right. the person. I said, I said, I said, right, right, the other maybe person. I mean trick back, but right, I feel like the woman, the, the, the men that get serious with women uh -huh. are usually, to, in my experience, are usually the one that was the woman that was more stern and what they wanted. Because like, okay. I'm gonna drag that's on as long as I can. Yeah. So first of all, what you're gonna well, stop so, doing is yeah. playing that as a I trick just bag. Said, I literally just said I said it wrong. Nigga, I literally you just said, said it on another podcast. You keep saying she tricked me. She, she, she. A trick okay, bag is this. A trick me. bag well, is this. Trapping is, it. Trapping is this. It. Trapping is when, well see, I still feel like you, it's, it's impossible to get trapped unless you're slipping, like you were being too loose. Like to me, when that's like when people have babies with people that they didn't mean to have them with, I'm like, bruh, how could you have slipped like that? Like if you knew you didn't want a baby with this bitch, you either don't fuck her up, or right, wrap it right. up. Like, so obviously, it ain't no trick bag. You it's know? not a trick it bag. Was a risk that it might have been, been a, it might have been a regret or a mistake, <clears throat> but, but but you knew what you were doing. Right, so, exactly. I apologize for saying trick bag. That was clearly so the wrong that? word. So really the you were just stern and what He's you like, wanted. I was bamboozled. <laughs> you were, no, you were. I, I, I stand behind that. You were stern. You, you were stern in what you wanted, and when I was doing my thing, you made me choose. Choose what? Choose what? But no, what I wanted to do. It was oh, just, okay. If you yeah. so, well, let me ask you this: Were you talking to other women when you met oh, her? Of course. Okay, so then you narrowed it down. I was forced to narrow it down. But yeah, why? Because to, she gave you a decision yeah, to make? Yeah. Oh, you gave him ultimatum? Yeah. You ain't about to be fucking with me with these bitches. This is a privilege. No, you, she like you. Uh, Thanks. All right, so wait, how, do we, how do we hey, start? Hey, we got a liar how, in the building. How, 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 Scorpio to Scorpio. You know how we do. A little lies here and there. No, she like you. Because if we like you, we're going to be like, look. Because I'm going to hit the dog. All right, so how, how do we sum this up? So basically, it's basically what it is. The guy who like you going to do it. The guy who don't ain't really into you, not gonna do yep. it. That's sure, straight I like, up. I like that. So I wanna, I wanted to talk about. Why um, I gotta just be the guy? Because that's what we it ain't is. Never talk about women. Or but the like, same, vice versa. Talking. No, it's vice versa. Oh, it's yeah. vice versa. I got you blonde. No, yeah, because it's vice versa. Yeah. The woman is vice versa. Yeah, the yeah, woman. In, it's when vice it, okay, versa. so I feel like in women's from a woman's point of view, it's like all right, that's what it is for us when it comes to y'all. When it comes to y'all. The woman that don't really like you is gonna be the one that bails out when shit gets rough versus the one that sticks around. Just like we feel like, okay, when shit gets rough, the man that likes you, he's gonna come to your rescue. Right. The man who doesn't is gonna right. be like, damn, that's crazy, but still wanna holler at you. Right, facts. I like that. I like so that. I, you know, I, I had to change the um, change the topic again. Wait, what? You gotta stop, cause like, what the it's fuck? Hard. So I'm sorry, he does I apologize. Every week fucking he curveball. Okay. I'm sorry, I apologize. So what did he do? What I wanted to speak about, I thought it was it was more real realistic towards us, especially a uh, relationship, right? I want to talk about the dynamic of the conversation between. Friends versus your significant other. Cause like I've been having this conversation, like I definitely want to be able to speak, and this goes so so much deeper. But I wanna like I, I wanted to have the conversation about to speak to be able to speak about different things with you, right? And I'm pretty sure the same with you. However, we can't talk the same way with each other that we can talk towards our friends. And I think you even said this. It's crazy because you brought it up the other day, not even yesterday, but I've been having this conversation. Okay. So it's like, I understood exactly what you mean. For example, like you might say something like, I don't know, like, what the fuck you mean? Right, Whereas my though, friends, and my friends get it. Like, yeah, it's, but it's, like, it's, but it's even if you say it to me, I might take it away. Or even if I say yeah. it to you, you might, I, can't, I can't come to you and say, man, you dumb as shit. You might, like, what? Right. Whereas if I'm having a, a conversation with my with friends, like, yo, right. man, you dumb as shit, you bugging. Right. Michael and, Jordan and, is clearly better than right. LeBron, and, you know what I'm saying? Taking it away. ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, right. and I wanted to talk about that, but also, <clears throat> how hard to add on to that how hard it is to have a podcast with your significant other because i know i have a lot of friends that um one of my friends was saying that his girlfriend was like why you ain't do a podcast with me and i was saying that like that sounds good but i want a lot of couples that listen to us to know how hard it actually is because yeah we can have conversations that it might be entertaining but a lot of times um i don't want to say a lot but an equal amount of times our arguments on a podcast spill over right. so I think that's something that people should really look into and think about because if sometimes you don't have to 
add new things to your relationship. We all, we all got relationships. We all got things going on. And to add an extra problem is not really smart. We took on that and we're dealing with it. And we're dealing with a lot of things behind the scenes that people don't know. But don't just watch us and be like, oh, I want a podcast with my man. Or I want I'm a calling podcast. HR. You're not supposed to date each other when you work together. <laughs> right. But no, but no. Facts, facts though. That's so facts. it's like, that's, that's why. Great, but that's that's why. But literally, these are the reasons yeah, why. That's like, why. I know my company fired two people because they got into a relationship yeah. in the company. They're married now. Which worked out for them, but they definitely got because it's a conflict. Yeah, it's a yeah. conflict. So I wanted to have that conversation because I know there's a lot of people. Well, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's people that look at us like yeah. I want to do that with yeah. my partner, or and it's but, like just think right. and really but dig deep honestly, into it. Honestly, like even research. though we just put it into business, I I just think it's a business thing in general because like, and I only reason why I like so even just in our relationship and even in friendships, I just don't think everybody can do separate the together. two. Yeah, because like it's like a lot of emotional things like there's like, for example, just like there's friends I won't travel with, like there's certain there's friends, friends I can't do I business with in the business with. I, like, right. It's just the same thing. And I think this is every relationship can't do that, like because because issues can spill over, like you really have to be in some type of space to understand that one and be willing to work on that after. Because if you just go into it like, oh, we're just going to do this and we're and don't really have that hazard of like okay but if you're gonna these get your feelings hurt. happen and this has to spill over are we gonna work on it fairly because if not the relationship is gonna go downhill because it's like now it's kind of like oh well this is spinning spilling over and i don't know how to work you, on this you, or you get know, out of you it. ever notice how like couples that get on reality shows never really work out facts that's why because facts. once it's for everyone to see and there's right. an opinion on it or right you're being candid right then it gets real and i was going to what that's a great point to what i was actually about to go into next i also think you know just as much as we all have to be growing separately and in the relationship i think we just really have to be transparent in ourselves as well because at the end of the day when you do get on like reality tv or do things like this where it's aired to so many people like what happens is all the flaw show all the transparent show all our hidden problems we had is showing and like and it's in the light some people cannot handle it being in the light one i'm gonna tell you why they're not even ready to face it like you know what i'm saying i think uh just like the same way like friendship relationship when you're okay with facing these issues and taking them on then it's easier to deal with. You have to be ready to face it. So let way. me ask you guys this. Do you guys ever find out anything new about each other on the podcast? New? I won't say new for me, but like I, I didn't will know say you felt that way. Okay, yes. I've had that moment sometimes. Like, like I, I have, I have. I've had that moment sometimes. Jay will tell us something and I'm like, or just even, it, sometimes it's not even on the podcast. Sometimes it's in regular conversation. I'm like he says stuff and he's just talking and I'm like, I need you know, like, you know what I'm saying? You felt, you felt that way. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why I said, like, you just got to be open to things popping up, to be honest, and being okay with working on it after that, because it's really the work after that. Because once it pops up, you got to face it. It's no running from it. It's no sweeping it under the rug, because it's going to keep resurfacing, and you just <clears throat> have to face it. Let's, let's, let's rewind real quick. For a second, though, um, we've been recording for like 33 minutes, and we passed the hookah yet, but... uh. Just want to make that known. Uh, you ain't uh, asked, the no, dynamic. You ain't, you ain't asked for it. Normally, he'd be like, can I have a hookah? So I didn't think you wanted it. That's a great point. Um, The dynamic in the conversation. There it goes. Right? I didn't know you felt like that, Jay. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that was a great, but I'm very, I feel like I'm I very fair. Like, you're, that was, was a great it. point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I gave <laughs> Meanwhile, you that. Meanwhile, I'm like, he's not asking. I'm but not um, <laughs> as far as the dominant, dynamic of the conversation, I feel like we jumped ahead, right? That happens in everyday life. Yeah. On podcasts or not. Facts. Do y'all feel like, do y'all? Of course, I feel like y'all wish y'all could have that conversation, like those same type of conversation right. with your partner. But is it something that's, is that something that we're not thinking too much? I can't find the right mm -hmm. word, but like, is that something that we just need to stop wishing upon and just understanding that that's never going to happen? Wait. As far as the conversation between your spouse and your friends. friends. Right. So I kind of all agree. of us so, want that. Because like, kinda, right? so I'm going to be real with y'all though. Like my parents were married for 30 years. Um, They actually are getting a divorce this October. And I will say this. They held no punches. So they did do that. Mm. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Of course, I didn't know how they were at first, but I know what I saw. It was like the room. When you do that, you have to be willing to accept that the romantic aspect of the relationship will decline. Mm. I know people be like, oh, best friends and lovers. And you can be best friends yeah. and lovers. However, something's going to out do the other one right. so it's like yeah you could talk to her like what's up bruh but eventually what's it, up bruh it's it gonna carry away. into the bedroom right. it takes away from something so yeah, i watched wild. my that's parents got, i watched wild. my parents get so comfortable with each other that the relationship died what? out so right? i'm about to go on a date wow. with this other chick you you be 
Huh? <laughs> you said they got so comfortable. Like, what? what's up, bro? Like, no, I'm saying, saying no, no. <laughs> I'm joking. No, when I say everybody, the whole room stopped. Like, right, entanglement. That's an entanglement. <laughs> they, they had a marriage. Like, but I'm like, saying, cool. like, hold me up. Like, I'm about to no, go but home. but this is what I mean by it. This is right. what I mean by it. Like, okay, me and you could get in an argument today and 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 be friends again in a couple weeks or right. a couple hours. Right. But like, when your spouse says like. Man, fuck you. It's a little different. It right. hits different. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. like they started talk. They were such friends, laughing about everything, talking to each other regularly. Argue the arguments. They also share those qualities. Right. Like when you you start just saying anything in the yeah. arguments and expecting forgiveness, but right. after a while, it's like if it you deep. if you hit somebody in the same spot. It's over and over, eventually it's gonna start to hurt. Gonna start to hurt. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's like, right. all right, so yeah, you could be buddy buddy, right. but just know that it carries over into the romantic part right. too. So it's a sacrifice. Right. It some that's like Will and Jada. Right. Like Will and Jada at this point, let's be real, they are friends. Right. That's why right. Jada can go fuck August Alcina and Will can go fuck whomever, and they can still get in the room together and, and raise their about children it. and be cool and laugh about it because right. the romantic part so died out. Gone. They became too uh, much friends. I think it's slippery slip with that though because. Still see the hurt, like it was visible. So, both of so, so, so make it seem like okay, but I'm, a, but because I watched my parents go through something very similar, what I'm gonna say is this: it's not necessarily hurt that she fucked August Alcina. It's almost a shared hurt and a shared pain. Yeah, goddamn, that it's almost a, it's a shared pain. Sorry, it's a shared pain that the marriage died. Because both had, I'm sure they both never wanted their marriage to die out. Right. So it's a shared pain. It's not necessarily like, oh, she fucked August Alcina. Right. I'm mad. He knew that already. Right. It's almost like a disappointment. Like, damn, man, we really wanted this, and something just went left, yeah. and now it's not so that no late. But we late. friends, though. Yeah. So do you? Yeah. So you think it can happen? It's just is it comes with a risk. It, yeah. No, it it comes with consequences. Right. Right. I I agree. It comes I can see with that. consequences. I can see that. And like just to be. But I have damn, a question, right? look at this. So I got a question. You didn't script. change it. You normally change it too. Don't switch up now. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, Cat 22 is in the building. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's who can't general that's though. Like, when you you hold everything in here is Cat 22. <laughs> that's why you don't need the fucking but nigga. You don't even know how to smoke it. He don't even know how to say you fucking it up. I had it two seconds. When you talk about your friend and your partner, right? To some degree, isn't your partner supposed to be like your quote unquote best friend? So how do you but do okay. you have best friends? Right so now? I just feel like like of course like so like people have multiple best friends. Like sometimes I have like my best friend and then my man's my best I think your man can or your female can still be your best friend, but I do feel like girl to girl or like your guy to guy or like whatever like it's a different friendship. Like it's a best friend, but it's a different like you're my best friend, like Look, we share everything at this point. Like, if you want a friend like that, nigga, go date a dude. Like, I'm not a guy. Like, that's fact. So too. Like, what I've the said fuck? that though before. Yeah, Matt times, like, I said, like, like, I can't. I can't. I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm nigga, not your nigga. nigga. Like, exactly. We, we need a bell for like one point something. I had. I, what, <laughs> like one, a joke? Yeah, please. Now I you had to do it now. No, no, because I was supposed to bring it out. No, that's your loud shit, man. Nah, fuck that. That's gonna fuck up the whole sound, like. That's just gonna vibrate. Nah, fuck that. Come on, leave that alone, bro. Come on. Joe, what it, Lila? No, Joe, nah, fuck it. Nah, it's like a, it's like a, it's, this like shit your is meal so is annoying. Ready. It's my meditation bell. Nah, but it's, it might fuck up the sound though, because it ain't like a regular sound. Well, like, I ain't gonna do it. This is my baby. You order in the fucking it. court. Oh, here you go. What are you, Pepper? See, like, even that um, probably like. Just, what was that on Grown Up Hip Hop? She, she didn't even hit it. Home. Gavel and they were like, stop banging that fucking. Gavel. Yeah, she just pulled it. Oh, it's like she just pulled it out and that shit made some noise. Like, so yeah, let's just leave. That's <laughs> I'm childish. Are you doing a fucking magic trick? He's always being a dad. You see, you see what he did again, y'all? He's being my bus dad kill. again. A bus kill. Been, bus, bus kill. kill. <sighs> and I just wanted yeah. to sound good, so when people <sighs> listen to the shit, it won't. We won't lose. Yeah, listeners. yeah, yeah. Dad. Uh, oh yeah. Whatever. Anyway, um, I was gonna ask y'all. Speaking of being dad, let me try. Uh, should we jump straight to what's popping, or should we keep it going? Keep it going, then we could go in. We halfway there. Yeah, but I mean, Wait. oh yeah, because y'all gotta switch names for that though. By the way, y'all it's... still got Alex. I mean, sh me and you. It's really Jazz. I feel like we should. Yeah, let's let's jump straight. No, I, I don't do want to. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You always coming in here switching up the script. You see, he. We're gonna be at three hours, and He's niggas gonna be like, "Oh, again. we should have just switched up the script." Mm -mm. No, I'm, we I'm good. Talking my, okay. I'm talking my talk. All right, go ahead. Wait, so wait, what was 45 the, plus what, 45 is what? What was the conclusion? An hour and a half. Okay, 
What was the clue? And that's normal. What was the conclusion? Without the trending topics. What was the conclusion? <laughs> My point. Like, what, what was the conclusion? The conclusion is it can happen. However, you can have a friend. Your, your girlfriend, your partner can be your friend. However, it will take away from some things. And you got to be prepared for that. And then. We agree. Your girl is not your nigga. Your nigga ain't your one of your bitches. Yeah. Period. So I know that when. When you need my location, I'm giving it to my friends, so they make sure I'm good. But I don't anyway. even ask for your location because I don't even care. Oh, yeah, whatever. So All right. See, that's when y'all get too deep in. Right. Like now you, you don't care. All right, right moving on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So this past week, a meme surfaced online and it was a picture of a man, a woman in the middle, and a woman on the right side. The man was It wasn't a woman in the guy. middle. Well, no, I'm going to say the story, tell the story. All right, so there was a meme that surfaced online. <laughs> and there was a, in the middle. There was a guy, a, the, a guy on the right side that said, he's the good guy. I was in the middle. <laughs> and it said the girl that the nice guy pursues. And then there was some girl on the right who was like a naturally. Can we pull this meme up, please? It's so <laughs> she was like a natural. We got to put this on the screen. Please. She was yeah. like a naturalista. She had on like some clothes that nobody's wearing anymore. <laughs> and they said oh, that's the, the type of girl that he should go after. Right. But he's going after me. Now, <laughs> obviously, I'm not, it's not literal, but they used my picture and I felt a way about it because I feel like there's a stigma on looks when it comes to who's good and who's bad. Who says that I'm the girl he shouldn't go after? Why? Why is the other girl the girl he should go after? So it brought me to the conclusion that there is a certain look that people consider good and a certain look that people consider bad. So I wanted to know what does a good girl or good guy look like and what does a bad girl or a bad guy look like? Right. Like, what do they look like? And what does that even mean? What because, does it mean? Like, what does it look like? Right. Mm-hmm. So if I have, so if my hair. Y'all could have stopped laughing about it. And now it's a joke. It is a joke. It is a joke. Fuck you. It is a joke. And now it's a joke. fucking it joke. joke. It ain't a joke. And now it's a joke. It it's look at this nigga. His mouth hit the... Look, look, Joseph. Your feelings are bad. Your feelings are bad. I'm mad, y'all. Yo, Joseph. Like, swing that bitch around. <laughs> I'm not that girl. God damn. I mean, technically, you are that girl. Cause you, it's you. I'm not. No, it's literally you. Like you're the girl in the I middle. I mean, but what? But that's my point, though. That is so such a misconception. Right. I'm not the girl in the middle. I'm probably the girl on the right for real. <laughs> I, I am. I'm the, I'm the bitch on the right. I'm a good girl, man. I'm a good girl. They played me on the internet again. <laughs> Last time they said I was sleeping with my fiance's best friend on the meme. Why? Yeah. Why would why, I do that? Why is it you? I would never right. do that. So right. it's like, Facts. like and why? I get it. They're just using a picture. But what irritates me is why does it? Because it has to be. Why do you I look, look like why? the girl that right. you shouldn't go after? Right. And I think it's like now, similar. Go ahead, Alex. Right. You go ahead. What do you think the perception is? Like, like what, please let us know. What do you, like, what tell us you about you yourself. Let us know what your perception is. Not the okay. one you're making up. The one you actually think is the perception. Okay. So I think that. And I and I don't know. I, I can only speak from what I see, like from how I've been treated. It's almost like when people get to know me, like they're they're shocked. Right. And it and always nice. and it always offends me, but I don't say it because right. I'm used to it. Right. It's really? like, oh, you're smart, or oh, you know about this, or you know about that, or you're nothing like I expected, but in a good way. So what did you what expect? But right. wait, but 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 hold up. I've said that. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not not the fact that it's not even the fact that how you look or your numbers, because even having the conversation about bringing you on to my friends outside of Sade, it it had nothing to do with, (laughs) it had nothing to do with your numbers, believe it or not. If you ask all my friends, it was the fact that you can have the conversation in so many realms. The numbers is a plus, don't get me wrong. However, that wasn't first. The first thing was that you can have that conversation and, and it was so to me, it was dope because a lot of women is either one or the other. I remember one of my co-hosts on the radio, she was really into sports, but she ain't. She couldn't have the conversation about what's trending. Shit, I can't even do that, just to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that I meet anybody like that, not and the fact, especially that you're a woman, I mean, that's just is what it is. And it's, I think it's intriguing and I think it's dope. So far as that aspect of it, I think because you can have these conversations, yeah, it's like, oh shit, I would never so, think that. So, okay, so that I can appreciate. What I mean is like, okay, People meet me and they're like, "You don't act like I thought." And I'm like, her, "Well, what did you think I was gonna act like?" 
that's but, the question. Is but that's what I'm saying. And that's why I say, well, them. what does a good girl look but like? That's, but that's not even a good girl. When you say good girl and you say you're not what I thought, that's totally two different things because numbers carry a, <clears throat> carry a persona. So like even if somebody meet me, I, I don't have nowhere near what you got, but they will still say, damn, I didn't think you was that cool because numbers are, it's like, it's frightening. Yeah. I forgot the word. It's, it's intimidating. intimidating. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, because somebody, you see, yeah. you see somebody with numbers, you think they, who we see on TV, yeah. but it's yeah. like, nah, it's you know what I'm saying? Like so I'm that's still, what I'm, I'm thinking. Still a regular person. And yeah. outside of that, let's just be real. Girls of your stature, Instagram models are a lot of Instagram models are dumb. There is. They are. I'm going to just be real. Yeah, they so might I met a few. We it's know a fair. We know it, a few. It's real, come though. We right, know some a few, of them. But not all of them. Not, not all, all of them. Of them. Of not all of them. Not all of them. We've met a few. Yeah, but. I've met a few. But that's what I said. And that makes you the real one because you're, you're, it's rare that you meet. Okay, so wait. So take Instagram out of it because in the meme. That's the biggest part. But hold on. In the meme, it didn't say my name under it. It just shows just a picture. But if you ain't have the following that you have, you probably won't be that person. I get what she's trying to say. So like life even. Like people just think I'm going to be something I'm not. And it irritates me because I'm like, okay, like most men don't take me seriously until they get to know me because they think either she, no, because life. No, but not in that way. Mm -hmm. It's not in that way. Hold on. Yes. They think I'm superficial. They think you're shallow. They think I'm shallow. They think you're airhead. They think you're. Yes. Just pretty girl. Right. But then how come the girl on the right is not that? What is so different? Because she wears her hair naturally? Right, because there's, hold on, because there's, there's, there's but, girls who, the nerd, there's some nerdy there's girls, girls like that that are airhead. There's, there's, there's girls like no, that that are superficial that they, and they got numbers and because shallow. Of, they're in the books. And like, like that is, girl, uh, No Name. We like, like, it's a perfect example. Like, she's like regular. No, she's like into that book club thing like what if she's super popular but Let's she's super you know listen i know girls that wear their hair naturally that wear out of so date, just be out of style clothing that yeah. are fucking bad people they're mean they're spiteful they're hoes more it's some more shit they're not go-getters all kinds of shit yeah so why is that why is it that i'm supposed to be the girl who is superficial shallow yeah. lazy uh because bitchy <clears throat> Guess what? It's, a I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna tell you, it's life, right? Everything has a persona and a perception. But why? I'm gonna tell you, I don't know. Okay. It's life. It's just like, for example, I know men who can cook, that clean the shit out of the house, keep their decorations lit, but that's not most men. So when a woman meet a man that does that, it's like, oh shit. And I'm pretty sure he probably asking, why I gotta be that? It's just life. Like, But you- here's the thing. I'm not gonna say that this man keeps his house up just because of the way he dresses and the way no, he wears his hair. No, but you wouldn't think that he does it the way he does because that's usually a woman trait. For all I, men, but I, we're not, I'm not talking okay. about I'm not talking about a woman trait versus a man trait. I'm talking about looks wise. Why is it that the woman who keeps herself together or whatever you want to call right. her or is sexier right. is the one one who's the hoe or the one who right. she because can go and, after? And Jay's, and Jay's like defense, because like, for example, like if I see a guy who's well put together, has, smells really good in cologne, keeps his beard clean, I automatically think his house is clean. What I will say, if, if I, and it could be the very opposite, or I might meet a guy dingier, don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, his house probably dirty. Like, the whole time, he right. might be the so, male. It's the so same I think, thing. If I see but, a girl half naked on the gram, oh, she's probably a hoe. But that picture wasn't half naked. But the question is- It wasn't. Is, that one body. wasn't. Yeah. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm confident. Right. No, because let me tell y'all something. Hold up. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. No, because let me tell y'all something. Fuck it wasn't like that. Like, I get it, though, but I do get it. I do get it, but this this is my business. So here's the thing. Yeah, sometimes I might be half naked or whatever, but at the end of the day, let's be real. Sex sells. We're adults. Yes. We know this. That's my business. So it's like, okay, I get it. That if you judge me by that, okay, cool. But this picture, like he said, I was full, I was fully covered. So what I'm what I'm trying to understand is what makes you a good girl? Like why? Because I'm like, is it because so, I'm light no, skinned and my not, that is a stereotype. First of all, you are really pretty, right? The Thank stereotype you. is the girls with the glasses that's nerdy, like they don't get attention. Just like the stereotype is good guys don't get it. Like girls don't like good guys. They that's like the bad too. guys. So I'm not, I don't think it's something intentional. It's just, that's how our world is built. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, it's a stereotype that dark skinned women aren't pretty, but that's mm, so not true. Not like true. that's dumb as shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, but, but no, yeah, but no, yeah, I'm, that's, no, but I'm saying that's, that's yeah. about but that's something that, that but, real, but that's something that's being said. That don't mean that it's true. That's fucking, but, far. but, but the masses think that a certain girl the is ma- a certain you way. You gotta understand the masses are she? the intelligent people. The masses like, are she. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why when we meet somebody that's intelligent, it's like, wow, you're different because you aren't the fucking masses. The masses mm-hmm, right. are the idiots in the world. Like, right. And more importantly, the masses are fickle. Bro. That's right. the biggest yeah. thing. It's like the masses are one way one day and then the next, next day they are so That's real. You, there was a type in the 80s. There was a type in the yeah. 90s. There was a type in the early that's 2000s. Right. It shifts consistently. 
one season dark skin they're in, one season yeah, light skin they're in. So right. you never know how society right. is constantly changing right. and evolving. Yeah, um, like so the... right now it's just a season where, and to be honest, looking at the picture, I mean, it's just a meme. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, at the end of the day, it's a meme, and, a I, and I and I get that, but I just I just felt like it was. It, I've seen multiple memes like yeah. that. It doesn't have to be me on it. I've seen multiple memes where I'm like, why is that the girl? Nah, in, in all reality, nah, nah. I bet you I'm the good girl in that meme and the other girl ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um. So So what's the conclusion? So the conclusion for me the is, is, is fickle. It's fickle. People, people miss out on a lot of blessings in their lives because they are constantly judging a book by its cover based on the social construct that we have created and contributed to. Yep. However, don't block your blessings by thinking, oh, because he's handsome, he got a lot of girls and he's probably a dog. Right. And don't block your blessings by thinking, oh, or don't, don't mess up your situation by thinking, oh, I'm going to date this guy or I'm going to cheat off this guy's test because he's got bifocals because he might be dumb as a rock. He just can't see. Right. <laughs> the nigga's blind. Yeah, he's just he's blind. Sick. That doesn't make him smart. Right. So That's stop judging Facts. people based on these stereotypes yeah. of, oh, he's smart because yeah. he wears glasses or he's dumb because he wears yeah. a, 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 a hat. Don't do that. That's you're, you're messing up your, your, your blessings because you don't know who you're going to miss out on yep. in life by judging them off of how they look. Snaps to it. Snaps to it. Snaps to it. I like that. I like that. What's up, Alex? Uh, we you at? Because it kind of like goes into goes this, into this uh -huh. topic a little bit. Like as far as dating people with similar interests or like, is there such a thing as dating somebody that's out of your league? Because mm. let's say, for example, you see the meme. If there was somebody that is quote unquote a good guy, should he even aspire to date somebody or like... I say for you, for example, right next to me, <laughs> I'm gonna say, okay. should somebody, a good guy, quote unquote, aspire to date somebody like you or even based off of the perception or is it so just like- So when you say good meet, guy, unquote, what's unquote. a good guy? Mm. That's based off of the stereotype. Like, All right. A, a bifocal, I know how to cook. Somebody has- I'm not dating anyone with bifocals in 2020. Get your ass some contacts. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I go can't see right now. All of that in that regard. <laughs> Somebody that is on their own has a nine to five because apparently nine to five is a taboo in 2020. But can't even have a good job out here. So okay, this is what I'll say for me, and I'm pretty sure you'll agree. Okay, good or bad, when you say out of your league, like I feel like, okay, I'm at a point in my life, and I wasn't always at this point. I have dated people that were out of my league, and I felt uncomfortable about it, so I retreated. But I'm at a stage in my life where I have my own stuff. I'm completely independent. I take care of my physical well-being. I take care of my mental well-being. Um, I I enjoy my alone time, all of that. So right. I'm whole. Right. So should you be pursuing me if you're not whole? No, because then at that point, you're, yes, yeah. I'm out of your league yeah. because you're not where I'm at. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a conflict. Right. And that's kind of what I was saying when we were talking about it before, like just dating somebody on your frequency. That's why I try to take out like out of your league out of it. It's really your frequency because some people just mentally aren't where you are. Right. Which makes them technically, yes, out you're of out of my league. league. Now, because, like you don't like we're not even on mentally on the same, on the thing. same level. Like, so it's or not we're not work. Even, like, for example, if I'm out here trying to better myself, I'm at the gym and I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm mental in mental health and I'm meditating you're not gonna and come I'm in here this. with fast food every night, sitting on the fucking couch. You're right. You know what I'm saying? And then you're not even caring about that. You're caring about gossip and all that. Right. You're kind of out of my league. If you like, work a nine to five, I don't care what you but, work. Right. Cause sometimes you're it's not working. About that. That's all that right. matters. If you're not working at all, then we, we have, have a problem, problem because, because I'm, I'm working, working my ass off. And you're not working. So we're not going to, so some, like, not going to get along. So out of your league don't have to necessarily mean like a look, Thing. It's really a mentality thing. Yeah, or it like, doesn't even have to be a necessarily a negative thing. Step your game up. And you should shit. want to be in my league. And I'm right. not saying that my league is it's, the end all, all be all. all. There's right. people exactly. out of my league. Exactly. But you know no. that you're out of mind. Right. So you shouldn't be, honestly, I feel like nobody should be dating until they got their own shit together. Facts. I like that. Facts. I like that. Dating or fucking. Like you shouldn't be dating. Okay. None of that. Like, so I'm me personally, curious. I don't fuck if I'm not dating. That's facts. That's, That's just me. It. But you there's plenty be. of people who do who do need fuck that sexual of, right. stimulation. I'm not one of them. Right. But 
If what that's is dating? Because a nigga could take you to the movies or... No, no that's dating, not dating. No, that's dating, not dating. Dating, I'm talking about like, like we're consistently silly. building on something. Exactly. Like we're, 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 we're saying, we're, like, we're we're saying really where are, this we're is trying to go. You're courting me, I'm courting you, we're trying to figure out if this can go further. Yeah. And so it's typically a consistent thing. We're probably dating consistently. We're we probably all the time. sharing information, tell me y'all like, resources. We're yeah, really we're going, getting to know each right, other. We're getting to like, know each other. Like... Y'all are full of shit, I man. Who's full of shit? So you mean to tell me, tell me every time you fuck, you had sex. Y'all were dating. You were getting to know this person. Y'all was. I said to I'm at a certain time in my life right I'm now. Like, exactly. Ooh, when I was in, on. when I was Ooh, younger, good good yeah. Shit. So I'm gonna be real nah, with y'all. I, I had it. only slept with one person until I was like I in my twenties. I, I swear to God, I slept with my baby father. That was it. And then I got buck wild when we broke up. I'm gonna keep it a. Uh, I'm no, I'm gonna keep it all the way tall. I got buck wild when we broke up, and I had my whole face, if y'all want to call it that. And thank God, by the graces of God, nothing bad came out of it. However, I was finding myself. So that's why I, that's why I say like even that could be out of somebody's league. Like, no, sir, I don't want to fuck you if we're not if I don't see any yeah. potential in you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I like that. So I had a question. Just I'm not mad at that. Back to the I'm not mad class. at that. Like, just like, how do you vet that if you don't get to know the person? Like, how do you base that question? Like you said, I don't see any potential in you. Oh, I can if see so, it. I, I, listen, but that's why you're dating. Listen, like, listen, let's, be real, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's no. Let's be real. Y'all can know within sixty seconds if there's some potential in somebody. Or in sixty seconds. Wait, because sometimes you can see it, but sometimes it's your idea of the potential. Because sometimes they never meet the potential you think they're and, gonna and meet. I've, and I've so been a victim that's, of that's that. I've been a victim, I've been a victim of, that. of that too. Like, oh, like, oh, nah, like, and, can, and it's like you yeah. get, to, and it's like, what the fuck? Like, he never, never reached. He, it. He, he, you're and never. Then gonna I reach have it. to realize you're never gonna reach. You're it. never gonna reach it. You're never gonna reach it. However, if you are willing to take that chance, yeah, you you know when you're willing to even take that risk, though. Like, facts. Like, there's been plenty of guys I met where I'm like, even if I thought he was like physically attractive the minute he opened his mouth i was like digital dash i'm right. out of here right. i didn't even realize i didn't even realize like you're not my type right. or you're dumb as a rock right. or you are you're you're just, you're just not, not for my, me you're not for i'm me. not gonna waste yeah. anybody's time like yeah. i don't waste people's time right. a lot of people that's the problem people want to waste people's time and that's when it becomes a thing of like okay you are out of your league, but you're being led on too. Right. So I can't blame those people. Right. But like, I'm in a, at a point where if you're out of my league, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm yep. just gonna leave. I don't yeah. even want to get to know you. Yeah. Just say, Facts. Don't waste my time. I'm not gonna waste anybody else's time. Yep. That's there we go. I like that. Hey, there let's. Go. That was less. Come shit. on. Hey, let's let's get into the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we talking um. Meek Milano, 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 De Rouge. We talking, we talking, Meek Milano. So, Meek and Milano announcing a breakup. Do we give a fuck about it? Well, yeah, Meek announced know, the breakup. A, Meek announced the breakup. So this is what I will say. So like, I think when you're in the limelight like that, like I see, it's a couple people who announced their breakups, and I think like just to spare the confusion because there's so much in the limelight. Like, so for example, say they broke up, Meek never says something about it and he decides to go date another girl. Somebody's gonna be in the blogs like, oh, I seen Meek cheating on Milano, da 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 yep. da da. So to avoid the riffraff, I can see why. Or avoid the, the emotional dragging. Cause like when you break up with somebody, let's be real, like it's hurtful. Yeah. So it's like, just get it out the way. Let yeah, everybody let, let, make their jokes. Right, let everybody say right, their right. negativity. So I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Uh, okay. However, I do think Meek needs some fucking speech impediment classes because that was a terrible phrase of Meek, where's your PR? No, your, seriously, where's, where's your, your PR? PR? All I'm gonna like, say is as a Meek fan, right? Or is this PR? As, as I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say this as, as, a, as a Meek fan. So like I said, Kanye West, West was tripping. Meek, just shut the fuck up. Stop tweeting. Like, we don't care about the tweets, bro. Like, we don't care about that. Like, we got niggas on your side and you making it hard. Like, you ain't even announced the relationship, but you gonna announce the breakup. Right. Like, my guy as a, I mean, of course we're not friends, but right. as somebody that I fuck with, I fuck with Meek Mill. It's like, yo, but like, just stay out Meek there. We don't want you to tabloids. Meek has always been in the Twitter. Like, that's his thing. Like, that's everybody Meek. known Y'all like Meek, Twitter Twitter but that's like, Meek. But that's Meek. Twitter fingers. Like, he's always been, th come on. Yeah, like, how you can't long, be wait, mad wait, no, how He does it every time. Because he wasn't Mal like that That was like, oh, yes, he was. that's five years ago. He was. It's just that I think it wasn't, it wasn't. But before well, he that, he wasn't, he he wasn't Twitter jail. fingers until Drake. He though. was in prison. Yeah, he wasn't Twitter finger, fingers until Drake. Is that is he was he or right was he not or he just not that didn't pay attention on Twitter or maybe really... the yeah maybe it was like yeah. you know Nikki let's be real she made him bigger to the masses so it could have been a thing where nobody was paying attention but the nigga been emotionally tweeting 
for ages. Probably before he was Meek Mill to us. That's his thing. You can't he's, be mad. He's at always him. been Meek Mill to us. Right. So when Meek he did fingers. it, I wasn't surprised because it's like, all right, this he's guy's got, this emotionally is charged. He's right. an emotionally always. charged person. Yeah. yeah right. Right. I mean, so, that's fair because a lot of them between shit, like even Lil Baby, all of them. Everybody's in their shit. feelings. It's Everybody. 2020. Everybody's in Money their feelings. Money back, all of them be Everybody's shit in their feelings. All the time. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, like, y'all put that out there. It's, like, just that, it's just that because it went onto the blogs, right. everyone caught wind of it. Yeah. I think he was just trying to get it out of the way, to be honest. And right. I don't even think that their situation was. Oh, I yeah. think, I think, like you said, trick bag. That's a situation yeah. where I'm like, all right, was he trick bag? No, because clearly. He's right. a grown man. However, he could have been vulnerable. And I think that they had a friendship. I don't yeah, know they, the details. Right. I just think they've been friends for a long for time. A long time. Maybe she she's played, played on the it. backseat for and, a long and time. You know, while he was with bitches when you're after in the bitches. industry, you get sick of people because yeah. you don't know who's genuine. And she still was, she was there. genuine, but he probably wasn't in Into love with her. her and yep. that's just what happened. Now, I'm just speculating. Yeah, it could have been a whole nother thing. He could have cheated. She could have cheated. Or they could have right. just been like, ew, we thought we liked each other. First of all, when you first have a baby, you know it brings it, it brings yeah. the Emotions. relationship. It, yeah. it shows everything. It shows everything. It's like it's it no shows more honeymoon everything. phase. Honeymoon phase gone. Yeah. So it could have just be, or yeah. they could be in a bumpy place and get yeah. back together. And he might have been emotionally right. charged and was hurt and wanted to say something. So would you announce your breakup on social media? I mean, it depends on. I'm not about to do it right now. <laughs> Single bitches, it's like not. Mm -hmm. It depends on who I'm dating. If I'm dating someone and it's private. So you are dating somebody. I, I was... think I am. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't know anymore because I've been wilding, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm having like a early midlife crisis. But okay, if the relationship never went, even if I okay, I'm gonna say this in Meek's defense. Did he ever announce the relationship? No. But did the relationship ever go public? Yes. yes. So at that point, it needs to be addressed. If then, if if I'm dating someone and nobody knows about it, if Probably I say not. something, it's like it's like I'm gonna. I'm you're bringing, delusional. I'm you never gonna, even dated that. Or nigga. not even right. <laughs> it's like I'm bringing attention to it. I'm trying to piss him off. Right. Or I'm just hurt. Right. But if people know about it and they're gonna be expecting something right. of us, of course I'm gonna announce like, it. Like so, if just me, me and Jay break up, I feel like we're gonna have to say we're something. gonna have to say something. we have a podcast. Like I'm kind of gonna have to like look. Unfortunately, we had to part yeah. ways. Right, but we yeah, still kicking yeah, yeah. it. I ain't saying shit, Jackson. Uh, Y'all gonna figure it out. Uh, uh, excuse me. Unfortunately, we had to part ways. I'm single, oh, bitch. That was due your to way. Unforeseen, you know, due to, uh, due to un unforeseen that's circumstances. A, that's a dressed up way of being corny. Let me tell, me, let me tell you why. Because I, I used to always hate when people post single. Like, bro, when niggas don't give a fuck, you just trying to say that so the bitches that's looking for you can say it. I feel like that's hey, that's a dressed up way of saying, I'm all right, the niggas that's looking, the niggas that's been putting, the niggas, the niggas that hey, been fishing. Hey, you want to come the out here? I'm looking for a flash. The niggas that have been coming to Nah, the niggas, the niggas that Y'all start inviting me back to the functions. Like, let me know. I'm out. What I'm outside. What I miss. I'm back. What I'm back. Like, I never left. No, no, they doing it for the niggas that been fishing, that been pa being patient, doing all this nice shit, so they can pull up like, Hey, Monique, you want to come out here? Say, <laughs> we outside. We out fucking sad. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, the niggas that been putting that beard in, now when they see that, that single post, is I'm, Jay full of shit. Well, what I'm what Jay supposed to do? Like, I, I already know what Jay gonna do when we break me. up. I gotta get my groove back. <laughs> well, I already know what Jay gonna do, because every time he... Like the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I, look, I'm groovy, but I ain't that groovy. Like, I, ain't, I ain't doing it like, like that. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what JB do. He gonna do because Jay do the shit when we be beefing. He started tweeting all type. You know what I hate when do? No, it's not even subliminals. It's, it's Bible quotes. Yeah. I fucking hate when they break well, up and start now. Everybody every in church. You break up, now it's, it's Luke taking chapter. Church. It's God helps though. Like shut the fuck up, bro. You ain't even go to no, church. No, you guys are just devil. Like, like no, nigga, no. I tweet He's positive like, shit when so I'm going through some shit. When he does it the most, when we're beefing. Yes, because I'm going through some shit. So I'm. Read that's Bible me. verse. That's me. Read. That's, that's bro. You that's ain't nothing. Then open up the Bible when we we good. Then listen. Fuck is you talking about? And then maybe y'all won't be bad. About? Then so. I wouldn't think it was for attention because do it all the time when we're together. When okay, we're hold on. Let's just be real. We're all humans. It is human nature. Okay, Niggas there's a difference like between being corny. Romans. I'm not gonna record myself and cry and be like, oh my gosh, we're no. over. I just wanna let you guys know that's corny. That's but disgustingly corny. Everybody like. Even when I get into it, even when I get into it with certain people, yeah, like I gotta throw my shade. Fuck that. I'm an emo I'm an, I'm a Scorpio. I'm an emotional ass bitch. So whether it's good or bad, I'll praise you when it's good, and I'm gonna throw my shots when it's bad. If I feel a way, if I don't feel a way, then, then I can I don't keep on. But I gotta speak. I'm a transparent so why, person. But that's 
I don't think it's corny. What you said? Wait, what? I'm a transparent person. I don't think that's corny. Right. That's fair. I mean, and he's a public figure, so he has to do that. What I'm that. saying is, instead of me being angry and getting my shit off at you, I'm a post positive shit. Like, I'm like not, you said, not, like Luke. See, I'm, but see, I'm you know what you are? Because you know what you are. You're you're passive aggressive. Thank that's you. Not, I call him that all the passive aggressive. How is that passive, passive aggressive? aggressive. Ass, Jay Gemini. is the most passive Y'all are aggressive. No, Geminis aggressive. are passive Fuck. aggressive, bro. Okay. Like I told him the same listen, thing. I'm like, bro, me. I'm just like, look. Listen, it is what it fucking is. Just like you get loud doesn't mean you're right. No, I'm asking a question. You said that five times yesterday. You've been practicing to say that on the show. No, I ain't even with passive aggressive. Listen, listen. You call me a name, and I'm asking why is that passive aggressive? Because you're not tweeting the Bible quotes because you're moved by them. You're tweeting them because even if you are moved by them, you're doing it because you're going through something. It's not because you just want to sh- share it on a good day then. Right. That's so, what I'm so saying. Wait, if so you did, if you were going to pass the same level, keep that same energy. Now, now, okay, now, go now, ahead. Listen to my point, right? So if I'm going through something, if, if, if it's a regular day and I'm not going through something, I'm probably not thinking about it. Not saying I, I could, couldn't still do it. However, it's been times where it don't have to be relationship shit, and I'm going through something, and I still tweet okay. some Bible shit. But why? So okay. But why? But why do you have most, to share it? But then and that's the corny and, part of it, right? No, why are you sharing it? So, so people go what I'm through it and read the Bible. You can read them on your own. Yes, but I don't think that's passive aggressive. It's like, I'm saying what it, I'm oh. saying only. I'm saying it what is. makes it passive aggressive is when you intentionally do it overload when you're going through something, something with, with her. That's what I'm saying. That's accountability. Passive aggressive when I'm going through something that I have to do with you. But my point. I do. My point is you don't. Do it as much then. I know that because I'm your bitch and I follow what you posted. Like, what are you talking accountability, about? Accountability, Jay. That's the word of the Come podcast. Accountability. Is that definitely accountability. Accountability. <laughs> accountability. What I'm saying is that definitely accountability. I don't see how that's passive aggressive. Okay, because he you're the one doing it. I think you do see it, but I think that you don't want to believe it because you just called I, it corny. Listen, I can find. <laughs> no, if, I said it could be corny. I literally said that that's definitely can, can be corny because yeah. if you break up with something, you post it, that's corny. I definitely hold myself again. But when you say passive aggressive, I'm thinking of. I don't know. I'm thinking of like aggression, so I don't see. No, no because you're passive, passive aggressive. aggressive that's the opposite. Like, it's that's when, the opposite. It's that's when, the whole point. It's when you're purposefully not being aggressive. Oh well, yes, I am. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's what you gotta do. Is the no, but I didn't like, know what's. I'm definitely wow. passive aggressive because I'm not trying to be aggressive. Of course, like that's yeah, that, but but I'm still saying. aggressive. That's what I'm though. saying. Like, but it's a passive way. Me thank the Lord is aggressive. That's not what he's. That's yeah, because that's passive aggressive. You got Right now, right that, you're doing right, it right now, because you know good okay. and damn well. All right. Because let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because hold up, the I'm context. The it's fuck? the context of it. it. You know good and damn well that thank the Lord in that context is passive aggressive. Now, if you just wake up and say thank the Lord, then that's how you oh, feel. So, right. No, so when I tweet, it's, it's not like that. It's like it might be something like, "Yo, the Lord." Sometimes you gotta be patient to find out something, <laughs> and He wanna teach you something. Boy, bye, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Episode sometimes, over. Bye. Sometimes you gotta be patient to find out who people he are. He laughing right now. Bye. Like, yeah. Sometimes you. That, that's, okay. So what, what did God say that? Not, Hold on. I wanna know. What the fuck did God say that? That's a body? fact, though. Sometimes you gotta be patient. When did to God really... say that? Nick, God ain't say that. The meme, the meme maker said that. <laughs> <laughs> who felt the same way as you? Exactly. About a bitch One day, bitch broke up with him. Yeah. Look out of here, nigga. Hey, ain't no fucking meme. Ain't no gospel. What's the next one, bro? Yeah, that's, Nicki that's, that's, Minaj and her hairstylist. Okay, boom. So basically, Nicki had a her consistent hairstylist, Eric which was Tay, uh, which was Tay, yeah. and he does her hair all the time, right? So basically, Tay said he had a dental appointment two days before Nicki had to do her shoes. So she basically tried to reach out to him, like, hey. You know, I really need my hair done. He said, I can't do it, rah, 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 two days before she was supposed to post her video. So she went with somebody else. Now, the somebody else she did go with, him and Tay are at odds. Like, you know what I'm saying? A, a lot of it, I personally think social media had put them together because they were already putting them like, who does better work? So and what all happened is Takashi 6 9 the and, guy and his girlfriend, Jonathan, yep, did his hair yep. for a video and mm-hmm. Tay said, all money isn't good money. That's what sparked the feud. Right. And then social Obviously, media jumped not in, of course, and started pitting them against each other right. as far as whose work is better. Right. Who's the king of lace Right. Cards. So Nikki, which is cool with 6 9 obviously. Right. And I think John, I don't know too much about the lace fronts, but I know Jonathan is like second best. Basically. Right. Yeah. No, like all the other so, celebrities. So go if him. first best is taken right. and I have a shoot in second I'm going best to go to the second best. best. I got to go to second best. And it's, and I think, Tay felt like it was a disloyal move, but this is Nicki Minaj we're talking about. You're not doing my lace front. You're doing Nicki Minaj's lace front. So it's at the end of the day, she got to look the best she has to look. It's her brand. Right. So she should tarnish her brand 
for you, where's your loyalty? So can then? I ask you? Can I ask you this? Okay. So, cause I I didn't understand what the fuck was going on, right? But I felt like I was uh being a little uh I don't know. I was eavesdropping and reading the fucking the uh post and shit. What I will say is from reading everything, it seems like you know sometimes we do mixed business with like friends yeah. like we were just yeah. talking about, right? And a lot of times at that point. To you, it's Nicki Minaj. Yes. To me, it's my homie that I'm doing my hair to. Hold so, on, but hold on. In your in in this in this instance, Nicki Minaj is already Nicki Minaj. Now, even if you're her homeboy, you know good and damn well you're doing her hair but, for business. But that's purposes. what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, from reading the post, right, it looks like he's taking a lot of back seats to things that because we all know Nicki Minaj is a loyal person. Like that's what she preaches about all the time: loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. And I can see the hairdresser not doing some people's hair or passing up on opportunities because his loyalty to Nicki Minaj. So it's like, if I was doing this, I'm not saying this is right. I'm just saying being transparent, I can understand. If I'm doing this for you and you preach loyalty and then you do the opposite, that's fine. Hold up. Okay, I, feel like, I feel like if him and Nicki Minaj, if Nicki Minaj never said don't, let's just keep it a sec, don't do Cardi hair. No, that's on but you him. don't have to no, say that. No, like hold him. on, time on, hold on. Cause let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something. When it comes to business, and I will tell these to my bitches, to lashes, to hair, I don't give it's a fuck. It's never right? personal. When it's never personal because what happens is, right, I like my hair to look good. So if I'm going to the best stylist in the city and my wedding day is in two fucking days and you cancel on me, I need the second best. I don't I'm give a fuck. I'm gonna be real with what you. I've the been problem canceled is. on plenty of times. I don't, don't loyal, cancel on me, bro. I've been a loyal client and I've had hairstylists Go above and don't beyond for me. me. I'm about to and die. I've had he wasn't no. about to die. Hold on, listen. I've had I've had hairstylists go above and beyond for me and maybe squeeze me in on a day when they right. were fully booked. However, if I need my shit done tomorrow for what I'm doing, I'm not gonna look stupid just because you're busy. I gotta do what but I what gotta do. And the other thing I understand. And the other thing is, she is close with six nine. If he just did six nine hair, his his bitches hair, their girl. whole set hair, they did the hair for her shoe. It's like I couldn't see six nine being like, bro, just go to my guy. Like you know, so let him get you this. Like I don't even have time to think before, about it. I just gotta move. Before Tay got emotional and and started putting out that stuff, Nikki had already favored a tweet that said. That Tay still her real hairstylist. Everybody no matter what, down, like just was unavailable. Yeah, like that. He was like, "That's my hairstylist." I just he was booked. I had to. Let me tell you something. The thing is, no matter what they want to say, that nigga Jonathan is doing everybody's hairs. He's doing Megan Thee Stallion's hair. He's a celebrity He's doing, like, hairstylist. So it, it doesn't he's a matter. So like at the end do? of the day, so like is like what the fuck is she supposed far, to do? As far as that, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just saying maybe the loyalty. So if but, your barber <laughs> right is your man's right. right. And you have yeah. an event. You have an event to do tomorrow, right? Uh -huh. Your barber calls you today and says, "I can't do it because I got to get my wisdom teeth pulled." Are you going to go to the event with your hair not cut, or are you going to go to the second best barber, even if he's his rival? It get it. it like I said, it all context matters. If you matters. met your man, if you met your your man's after Con context you matters. Already was on. So context matters. For example, right, my 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 videographer, right? Let's so let's say Joe, me and Joe, me and Joe is past just video now you know what i'm saying yeah he's i met him doing video i right. met him working but now it's past that so if joe has a problem with somebody and i know he's the second vi best videographer i probably won't go to that guy because that's just my loyalty with my friend because it's past video it's past work that's my man that's I my just nigga i want to keep it a sec tay and nikki are not besties so yeah, i don't know about that i don't know the yeah like they're cool they're cool but they're not Besties. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm not besties with nobody I met this year. I can't speak on that, but I'm just saying from what like, I read. If you're talking about my best friend now, let's talk about something else. Hold on, but listen, the African-American culture of hair or whatever, you don't have to say African-American, black hair culture, we talk to our hairstylists. That is like a therapist. So that's natural. That always happens. as a hairstylist. So if you took it, if you took it like, you know, personally, I'm sorry you felt that way, but that's what we do. It's part of right. the culture. I vent when I get my hair done. Right. So if you if you took our relationship more than what it was, I'm sorry for that. However, you messed up a business opportunity now Fair. by getting emotional. It wasn't worth yes. it. Right. It wasn't and all worth I'm saying it. Is I can't speak on that. And whatever part. you passed up on, you passed up on it for a reason. Right. Because obviously you want to stick with her, not for loyalty, but because she is the was numbers and the paying look. you the most. In the, right. right. Come on. It's, like it's we're not gonna get it. stupid, bro. Yeah, like, like it's also not, like I'm it's Nicki Minaj delusional. It's like answering your question. If it was my barber and we were tight, you know what I'm saying? But like then, I don't think they're tight. They're not tight. They're not tight. That's his hairstyle. I mean, that's what I don't know. Like I can't. Yeah, I don't. I just said from what I read on the story. It seemed like it no, was, because that, it seemed because he made, made it that Nicki, Ma, you've never seen that's never been her bestie, bro. Okay. What you wanted to say, Monique? I'll repeat it. Monique's a hairstylist. From a hairstylist perspective, y'all, it could be.
see different. Like a lot of my clients that I had for a long time, I've worked with them. Like I got them from working with them as coworkers. But like after that, like I don't work for nobody now. So like I still do their hair, but they won't like they will not go to the salon with us. Two days. Well, like, when you said coworkers, fine. were they hairstylists as well? Oh no. Oh okay. No, 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 no. They, they, no. Were and that's okay. what I'm saying. Like I hate the I hate some that. People, I just, I also want to say something, my bad, I ain't mean to cut you off. I just want to say like, when it comes to anything like these hairstylists, all these bitches be feeling themselves because what I'm going to tell you what does happen too, they do get a little lit, they start feeling entitled and all these things and I'll be seeing like, I don't give a fuck who it is, hairstylists or not, if I'm paying you and I bring you consistent customers and get you cancel on me in two days, here, or you like, I'm du- like, you're a dub, bro. What, what I'm like, I'm is, sorry. I want to make this disclaimer, it ain't about the, uh. Tay versus whoever for me. I'm saying the loyalty factor. Like, if it's Alex, I met Alex through work. I met Joe through work. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, these, I, I, I ain't leaving by out. I said those names because these are the closest people to me. So if Joe or Alex has a problem or an issue with somebody, even if they're the second best, because my loyalty to them, I'm not going to go to the person they have a problem with. That's all I'm saying. I don't understand. I mean, well, if even, you if they're, even if they're I, like, I mean, that's it. Best, like, 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 listen, like, if they, if they, I feel like because that's not true because Jay, I've also heard you say like, like, for example, I've had a problem with people you're cool with and you still went to work with them. Literally. So that's not true. Again, that's not di- true all the time. Again, the dynamic of if I have, now that's different. If I have a, a relationship with you and I already have a relationship with them, I'm not about to go build. But, but Jonathan has done Nicki Minaj's hair, hair before. before. Ooh, that's yeah. what, I'm that's not, what I'm trying I'm to say. She, like, she she she's done her but hair before, so it's not and like. And I'm not mad like, at you know what That's why I said, disclaimer, it's not about them. I'm just saying me personally. But like, but that's I what I'm saying. It. If, I'm saying okay. if, my point is like, if the person done my hair before and they're the second best to you and you're unavailable, I'm going to the hairstyle. And I have like, something to do. It's, it's not like I'm trying to get fly. By, right? It's not like night. I'm just trying to get I'm cute for get no reason. I have for a, a video for that already has Ooh. a budget on it my and a deadline. Right? So y'all think, like, come y'all on. Think, so I'm you want to fuck up my business because so I'm be loyal? For loyalty? So y'all think, no. the, y'all think the dude was wrong for I do. I do. Because oh, cool. he won. Well, this is what I think Tay was wrong for. You could feel how you feel, but I also feel like he could have texted or called Nikki. And yeah, because you brought it to social media. The same way y'all was texting. You could have like, he could have said to her like, yo, that kind of hurt my feelings because you know. And we just talked about this. Twitter fingers in personal relationships do your thing. Me personally, I'm never I could going not, that far. We're, 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 we could never be that tight if you went to social media. With and I'm not it. never. Going, we, if, we, if you, I you have ain't my friend. Still, I'm not getting online and dissing the business. Uh, That's unprofessional. But even like, okay, we Nobody's so tight. Work with we you so now. tight, Jess. We tight. We fall out. We fall out before. This is my bitch for years, y'all. Like we fell out before. We ain't going to Twitter. Nah, because we ain't going to there. Like if, we, if you really my it's friend, we're not going It's deeper than that. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm falling out with, and I threw my shade. Because I know we're not even that close. Like, we're not that close. Fair. You ain't so, gone. I get, so, so, yeah, they not that they tight, bro. They're not that close. Because so, if they're that close, you already know what's up. Like, I'm not, I'm going to text you like, exactly. bitch, you wrong for that. And I'm going to be like, my or, bad. I ain't or, going. You know what or, I mean? It could have been or, resolved. I'm sure she would have gave him a courtesy call. Uh, Look, I'm going to Jonathan. He's the next best thing. Sorry, boo. No, you didn't get a courtesy I call. I mean, well, that's if that's what y'all think, then we're going to just leave it at that. Because, like, I just... Don't even care that much to be talking about these two. About niggas. none of the topics. What I care about? You said the uh, first thing you was like, "Do we even care about this for the Meek and Milano?" Because it's like you don't exactly. My point. It's shit that I care about. Mm. It's shit. It's, 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 it's a couple things. I right. see two things right now that I really care about. All right, about. we'll jump into it. Which one you care about? Yo, this Here's Rick Ross two chain shit. In the fucking NBA. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what you want to talk about? Yo, Rick Ross two chains. Wednesday. It's not, it's not as easy as people think. It is. Wait, wait. So, so I, I said that right. It's not as easy. I said that, I, but that was my that was my stance at first, and then I was like looking online. And I'm like, sheesh. I think it is a hard battle. We, no. Like I think it's a hard well, battle. I'm, I'm However, kind of so what, what? I do think it's a hard battle. What do y'all think? What, what you about to say, baby? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What do y'all think the score is gonna be? The score out of twenty twenty one. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's gonna be close. It's gonna be like a. 11 like 11. it's gonna be close Third, like well, it's, i don't i'm bad at math but what is like 11 then what else is it nine nine no i'm gonna go like a little bit higher than that for ross 12, like yeah, thir- I think I'm, I'm going i'm going like 13 7 at first i was on i was on a line of 11 9 and then i went to my phone nah, right now i can't do that and yeah. i went to the internet 11 and wow. that's hits, that's too close and all right chain so, got hits bro hey can we pull it up can you pull up can you pull up Pull up, to uh, me, two chains. Ross. No, pull, pull up, pull up, pull up. Rick Ross, top twenty-five songs. Just Google Rick Ross top twenty-five songs, and let's see what two chains can play 
for Esau. So, but I'm saying hypothetically, but because right? Because versus is based on hits and not. All right, so look. On... All right, pop that. What what is what is two chains? Because lyrically, I gotta go with Ross. Well, lyrically, nah, see, nah, it's different. Lyrically, I'm going with two chains. Lyrically, I'm going with two chains. Ross when it comes to deeper shit. Lyrically, I'm going with two chains. Ugh. But when it comes to, sheesh. Oh, Damn. I ain't gonna lie. What? I'm looking at these songs. I'm like, Ugh. oh, he just come won on. With Aston Martin what? music. What, what, what hustling? Is, what is what, dice what is pineapples? What is money in the grave? Shit. Oh my so, god! So what is stay scheming? Stay scheming. Oh what, my all right, god! So what, is, what is two Tupac chains? Tupac back? Oh but my what is, god! What is, like it gets, I mean, Tupac back can get beat. What is? No, I fuck with that. Yeah, what is two chains playing? No new friends. When he plays stay scheming. When he plays stay scheming. What is two chains playing? Duffel bad boy gonna get the win over stay scheming. That's a good Ooh, one. No okay. Lie, no lie. But, but, but no, but listen, but listen, but listen. No okay, because, okay, sacrifices. That was with Drake. That shit was tight. But hold on. You see how I feel like we got to we gotta reach, we got to dig deep in the bag. And that's just scratching the surface. When you hear it now, it just don't. I'm thinking, can we put it side by side? Can we, can we pull up another browser and like. Um, I love fucking problems. I, I love fucking fans watching. It's a vibe. I'm the only friend. No lies. Oh that shit my god. The only one. Big bang. Oh my god. Right, right, that's so my shit. Shake is my shit. That, that's my shit. Too. Let's go to the ones that's unbeatable. That we oh, think. Mercy. Uh, Mercy. Bands that make a dance because that was problems. a problem. No, because where's the Bands that make a dance was a birthday. At, at, at birthday yeah, it's it's John John but no, like I think that's what I'm saying. I think fucking problems. I think we got seven. No. Oh, it's a vibe. It's a, it's vibe, a vibe. Was a hit. That shit still slapped yeah. me. Riot wasn't that on True Religion? Oh yeah, Riot. 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 I'm, I'm a, a hit. I, but 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 I think Riot can get beat though. Riot can get beat. Ask them like Riot can get beat. One of my beat. friends. I'm not that, saying so that. I ain't gonna say I'm that. not saying two chains. <laughs> I'm not saying two chains ain't legit. Let's not get it fucked up. Two chains is one of. The, I don't even want to say underrated because two chains is lit. Yeah, Let's yeah, not get it yeah. fucked up. But he got songs that can get beat by Rick Ross. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it I got Rick Ross. I think I'm the biggest out. Big nah, amount is know, my shit. shit. Lady is that's no, it. I know. But, but what I'm saying is, that's all I'm saying. I told that bitch you motherfucking right. But that's hey, what I'm saying. I feel like two too. chains got. I think. I think the battle should be different because I feel like two chains to go against somebody else because all two chains hits. He got great hits. Let's not get it fucked up. So who we go against then? Uh, he got Super who, Freak is a who, Super Freak is a vibe. Um, who would he go? Who would two chains go against? I think I think this is a good battle. I think Rick Ross could go against like battle. top hitters. Yeah, I'm not saying like see, I disagree. I disagree. I do. I disagree. As far as catalog, go, I, I disagree. Something about Rick Ross to me, I'm I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's always been like, okay, yeah, Ross, he's in the game. He's been in the game for a long time, but he's not a legend to me. I'm sorry. So, all right, so Jazz, yeah, so wait, I'm I'm here with you, right? So I always said this. I always said this. I fuck with Ross, but I'm not a big fan of his music solo. But when it comes to his like catalog, I love Teflon, no, Don, yeah, but but no, that but that's different. So I, I, I always I love listen, Maybach when I, music. When I say listen, Maybach, when I say I, I'm music. always saying yo, I'm a big Ross fan, but I'm not so big of his music solo. Mm -hmm. However. When it comes to the features in his catalog, who changed features as well? It is. I'm not saying. But hold on. Right. But hold on. Wait. 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 I'm not saying hold it's on. not. It, hold but on. I'm saying. But you're right. It doesn't match up well because let's be real. Rick Ross. Yeah, he gets on turn up songs for features, but he's also been on features with Jay Z that were amazing. That's not a two chain. Style. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying when it comes Rick, like let's not get it fucked up. Two chains is nice. Let's not get it fucked up. But he his songs right, can so get beat by Rick Ross best songs. So who would you put two chains against it? Ah shit. They come off the fly. Two Honestly, chains. that's hard. That's hard. It's got to be against somebody else that's like a turn up artist. So I would say two chains. I, I would even say. No. No, nah, yeah, I would say Meek Mill. Meek Mill. I would say Meek. See, I would go. Chains, I would. Ross. I would do Meek Rick Ross. Yeah, I would do Meek no, Rick Ross. No, why would yeah. you do that? that why not? Lyrically, they're about on the same level. They, why not? They, they have the same. They have the same type of beat. Talking about Meek Mill Bro. versus. I would though. No, Meek hold Mill on. and Rick Time Ross. Out. I'm just under, saying he's under Rick Ross as far as business, I but as far as rapping, let's be real. Meek has a bigger career than Ross had. Wait, but what? Yes, he does. He does. What are we because talking like, about? No. We're talking about okay. relevancy. Relevancy. Meek no, is more relevant than Ross. Relevancy. relevancy. Let's keep it real. We now know, he is. Not, but, but it's about it's now. Real. All right. That's like saying, oh, Kobe's rookie year, he wasn't as relevant as freaking Michael Jordan. Duh, he was a rookie. But when he got in his prime, he went, he so went crazy. So if you want to compare both proms, 
Yeah, Meek has a bigger prime than Ross. Oh my God, you're bugging. No, you ain't famous. tripping. Stop. Meek oh, Mill is way like, more oh, famous than Rick Ross. What is Meek prime? She's smoking that good Meek shit. Okay, so to me, Rick Ross's prime was Teflon Don. Then he fell off. Let's keep it a buck. He wait, fell wait, off wait, after like Teflon Don. Yo, every day. That's just not good now. That's just not that good now. Yo, listen. What I'm saying is, all I'm saying, I think 2 chains Meek Mill. I think. Hold up. What makes y'all think that Ross's moment was bigger than Meek's? What is Meek's Yo. Meek I think, Prime? honestly, I think he's Dream kind chases, of just getting ready to get there. Well, I mean, Meek, okay. What song do you no. know that they play in the club from Ross? Like they play fucking. Um, I, no, 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 no. No, no, I guess you're not. Hold on. I heard that. No, listen, listen. I haven't heard that. Stop. Let me talk. Hold on. Let me talk. I haven't heard when the Eagles Yo, won the right. motherfucking Super Bowl, who what was their anthem? Not no fucking Rick Ross. It's from Philly. But, yeah, but, but, from Philly. No, it, it, it doesn't I'm matter. It doesn't no, matter. It's fist. the anthem. No. Outside that of, shit was outside an anthem of, outside of that, a, that Super that was Bowl, a bad, too. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was a bad still example. An the, the Super Bowl was a bad example. However, what's the song I'm getting stuck? The, um... Well, you I know, said, "Drink the time about, like this." That's what that's right. Drink the night. No, I but no, heard that I'm saying, at the club. No, two weeks ago. But that's what I'm. But that's what I'm. They came out today. They I'm came out today. I heard that out the club two weeks ago. Y'all are rapping. The what I'm saying is, that. I'm saying you're right. But the the Super Bowl example was bad. That All right, was, but, but I disagree. I, get, I, I don't disagree. think Ross has a. But oh wait, why was it bad? Because there's other people from Philly who are who are huge. All I'm saying is. All I'm saying is I'm a I'm on I'm on I'm 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 a grand. They chose you. that for a Ross reason. doesn't have a dreams and nightmares. No, he doesn't. That's what I'm. I, yes, I get that. He doesn't have a dreams and nightmares. It was a bigger moment, right? Like Ross possibly. doesn't Ross doesn't have a birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like a birthday chick. Like he don't have that. You know what I'm saying? However, when it comes to the catalog, birthday would win. However, he oh, some a lot of his top songs can get beat. So, by Ross, but to answer your question, I think Meek would be good. Meek against who? Two chains. I disagree. Um, I don't like that one. It's not fair. I Meek, don't. Meek Mill has yeah. more solo songs than features. Ti are... two chains. Mm. No, nah. Ti will wash two chains. Nah. Ti's the better rapper. Yeah, not even. It ain't about. It's about so, twenty hits. Right. And Ti's it, got more hits too because yes. he's the better rapper. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like honestly, like I mean, people you're not gonna compare have... the king of the south to the prince of the south. I think two chains doesn't work like that. I think two chains. It doesn't you know what might like you know what might be good? Yeah, you know what might be good? Two chains future might hit. There you go. Man. That okay, might hit crazy. Now y'all are disrespecting my good Scorpio brother. We ain't gonna do that on here. So you saying two chains can't go hit to hit with future? Yeah, fuck no. You're bugging. So, future could play. 50 so you saying future can be Ross basically? Wash. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. No, no, no. Hell yeah. No, Nigga, March Madness. Wash? Ma Madness. March Madness will wash anything up here. You're bugging. I'm not bugging. You're smoking that good shit. Nigga, life, uh, life is good. It was better than some of this shit that. that's up here. I don't agree with that. I do. I'm sorry. I future. Nigga, future. I don't agree future. with that. Real sisters. Motherfucking. Future had. Future had a fucking collaboration tape with Drake. Said, that up. shit alone. Right, will I was gonna say, what are some of the what, <laughs> what, what, what are some of the I I what nigga, are some of the verses that hold up hold up Future. Let's be real. Future's catalog Diamond's is crazy. Dancing. It's still going crazy. It's still going crazy. I do okay. what, so Jersey. What, you know who I do what I want. What, to what, what, like come who, on. Who, who you think? He, he, Whoa. Nah. Okay, so I would put Whoa. Gucci nah. and two when it comes to like let's not disrespect Gucci. Gucci is that nigga, but when it comes to top twenty. Hell Gucci no. Got Gucci got Two chains is gonna get him the fuck out of there. I don't think so. Bro. I think he will get him the fuck out of I there. I can't believe y'all trying to compare Future to Ross. Like Future, Future had the uh, Future to Two Chains. He's I mean, about Gucci. I mean, or even to Two Chains. Future, okay, Two Chains when he's lit, right? It's always in spurts. These type of niggas like Future them carried 20, a whole wave. We only no, we only talking top years. twenty. No, but that's why I think honestly, right? I think when it comes to certain artists. The top 20, and I said this yesterday, I think the top 20 is actually more detrimental because we only talking 20. Like, yeah. I feel like when, not the Gawar, but when when uh, when Chris Brown said he wouldn't go against Bow Wow, when it come to 20, to me, I think Bow Wow will get Chris Brown out the fucking way. So I'm not when it the come biggest, to 20 I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest, I'm gonna, be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest, like Chris Brown's music, it doesn't move me. However, I'm not gonna say that Chris Brown doesn't have a better top 20 than Bow Wow, that's reaching. Bow Wow might have a, a solid can't 10. Top 20? He can, but he's not Wait, going to that's, 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 that's not fair. That's not fair. Can y'all say 10 Bow Wow songs for me right now? apples and oranges. Pull it up. <laughs> you got to pull it up. Nah, you got to pull it up. I, I need to see it real quick. Song, I, cause I, I, just, no, I, can't, I can't name none of them right now. Like, I just need to see it real quick because I'm like having like a blank. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bow Wow was running the concerts, but... 
Chris Brown, come on, the longevity of his career, like, stop, y'all. He's let's, been doing this since 16. Let's look. Let's, look. let's see how you feel when I when I name the songs. Let's look. Chris let's, Brown had a longer run than Bow Wow. That right there alone. Let's look at that. Let's let's let's. Nigga, Chris Brown got a hit on the radio right now. No, I'm not saying. Wait, I'm not saying that he doesn't. What I'm saying is, when it comes to 20, I'm giving it to Chris. Down there. It's right there. Easy. Wow, wow, I'm giving it to Chris. Easy. Let's see. Let's. I want to see the the. the Okay, out of my system. Bounce with me. Bounce with me. Like Bounce with me. Shorty like mine. Puppy love. I don't even know what you can get at all. I think they this. like me. Uh, let, let me hold, me hold you, you down. You. Come on. We don't even ten. know. All I ain't even at ten yet. I, heard I don't even you know. That. I don't know some of these songs. Like I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a flirt. Marco Polo. Come on, Marco. I don't Polo even trash. I don't even know some of these songs though. Like dead ass. I don't know some of these. Okay. No, not to me. All right. All right. So, so back. So back. Some of these I don't know. So back, so, all right, so fair. Hydraulics. What fuck. the fuck was that? <laughs> I got Paula Dean on here. That fuck. has shit to do with Bow Wow. Fuck, fuck that. What I'm saying is, back to Ross, back to Ross and uh, Two Chains. You said. Look at this clown. You said ten nine. Last year, what? What did you say? Ten nine. Ten nine. What? Uh, Ross. 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 Oh, I said eleven nine. Eleven nine. I said ten nine. I'm I said eleven nine. You, you, I think it'll be close. Like, I'm bad at math, but I'm gonna go like. 13-7. I'm going 13-7. We're going to see. We're going to... Because it come on Wednesday? Yeah, we'll run it back. I'm going 13-7. I'm going 11-9. My birthday. 13-7. Ready, Snow. I'm going to go 13 I'm going 13-7. We're going to go see. I'm going 11-9. All right, so let's... let's, let's see. It's not just Scorpio. You're going 11-9 because it's your birthday. It doesn't even matter if that's what you really think. <laughs> so we're going to... Let's... 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 let's. Manifestation. What, where, where we at with it? What y'all want to... Where y'all want to go? I feel like... Y'all want to get another one because we did too. No, I mean, we can, I mean, I'm good, okay. we can, we can, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I don't really care. Oh, we can talk about this bitch ass J.W. Lucas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck is this fucking clown, all right, first of all? He's a, I mean, he's a producer, producer. he pretty lit. The biggest lit, song right a, now that we know Lit for what? Five. Well, like, just working with all the artists. Well, uh, oh, Jack Harlow. And Jazz no, Sarge. That's, that's a great song. song. No, I gotta go that's a great song. Captions. I gotta What's go through popping? my fucking captions. Yeah. I ain't supporting nobody who's doing that. Nah, that's why. No, fuck him. That song is lit. It doesn't matter. Fuck him. But hold up, but hold up. Hold on, hold on. So when Gucci did their bullshit, you would wear Gucci after they did that? How? No, I'm not supporting anybody. I'm, I mean, no. all right, hold on, because y'all no. gonna shut up because we just listened to we just listened Listen. to ten R. Kelly songs yesterday. Okay, no, R. Kelly no. exception. That motherfucker no. great. <laughs> no, but no, hold up. No, wait, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. No, but this is why I'm saying it for this because I'm so tired of black people saying all this, all this bullshit about oh. We need to do this, do that, or we're rioting, we're doing, we're looting. But then y'all still gonna support. support this motherfucker and put money yeah. in his pockets after he yeah. dissed our black queen. You better get in your political bag. But the, by the cops. But okay, fuck I that agree. nigga. I ain't listening I agree. to a motherfucker think he made. I agree 100%. I hope he never gets so, another. So, so, I agree 100%. But, but nigga went and here, here. bashed the no, same no. people who put I, the money I, in his pockets. I agree. Cancel him. But what I'm saying is, if you're gonna stand that, we do have to start doing that as a whole. Like, for example, R. Kelly, we did. But what no matter what, he's been disrespecting our black queens for centuries. Guilty. But what I, Guilty so proven innocent. I want to see that wait, nigga what? get crucified. Then I'll stop. I'm not. Listen, R. Kelly has the voice of an angel. He might be a demon. You just said he, he was has the innocent? voice of an angel. I said, no, I said guilty until proven innocent. Oh. He hasn't had his day in court. Mm, okay. Anyway, what I'm this saying. Nigga, we know what he said. What I'm saying. He said it on live. We know what R. Kelly did. He we did it on see. camera. It's a whole documentary. <laughs> it's a whole documentary. Right, listen, what, what I'm listen saying. hold up. Let me be very clear because I was molested, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I don't oh God, like. Damn. Oh, I'm supporting molesters. You gotta warn us. Fuck for molesters. Shit. No, she don't. No, no, she don't gotta warn us. That's not truth. truth. Fuck molesters. Fuck rapists. Whatever. I'm gonna be real with y'all. R. Kelly's music. I'm very. It, it, it was a time in my life where that music was feel good music. Okay, I grew up rough. That was the feel good music. That's what my mom put on when she's cleaning the house. That's what we have. You know, that's those are moments for me. Do I support R. Kelly as a person? No. Do I hope he makes another fucking dime? No. Do we trash the fucking diamonds and jewels he gave us? No. no. But what's but poppin' ain't no motherfucking but no, R. Kelly. No, but that's what I'm saying. So right, what I'm man. saying is, what's poppin' remix, right? Has my favorite artist in that Lil Wayne. So if, if, if I say, if I say I'm not gonna support J.W. Lucas, that means I can't Look, support the artist. Lil Wayne don't need that support from that. Lil Wayne is good. But I really like that version, especially to this day. Okay, but listen. In this day and age, listen, I'm, I listen, was surprised that he gave you listen, that. And okay, I love that. Okay, like, okay, yeah. listen, listen. But well, we gotta tell them what listen, happened for those man, who don't know. This man, let me tell you, this man. Maybe some people don't even man, know who this is. This man degraded. And this is another thing, too. And I feel this way. And I seriously do feel this way. And it's gonna make me upset. Y'all do not protect us. 
We do every fucking thing we can to protect y'all. And then when it's us, you don't protect us. If he said that shit about Trayvon Martin, would you still be well, listening right, to him? Okay, so, no, duh. Right, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. We have to tell the people what the problem is. Okay, hold on. Because they don't protect us, bro. Okay, so what happened? J.W. Lucas. A cracker, sorry. Okay, hold on, time out, 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 but he went on a rant on Twitter, basically saying that she signed up for that quote unquote life uh, by dating drug dealers and stuff like Which that. Which is That's basically why Breonna Taylor on, got hold killed. On, but hold on, but hold on, let's be very clear because this man was speaking out of turn, turn. he didn't do his research. She was not, um, she did not have any drugs in her house. She did, they did not have the correct address on the warrant. They were not allowed to they didn't have a body on warrant. This bitch wasn't, I'm, no, 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 sorry, not this bitch. This beautiful black queen was not uh, a, a, a violent felon who was considered armed and dangerous. So let's back it up a second, J.W. Lucas. You don't even know the facts on the case. If somebody kicks your fucking door down right now and shoots you in the dead of your sleep, are you, are, should you be, so did you deserve it? Well, because you work with you drug dealers, drug dealers. You work you with drug dealers and rappers. You former drug exactly. dealers. And they might still be drug dealers. Let's exactly. keep it up. Being, that's not, niggas get their money and put it back in the That's not my argument. Period. Yet. Period. So you work with them. So, 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 so you should be killed your fucking jet. house to shoot you in your goddamn so, sleep? No, definitely. The nigga, the dude was absolutely wrong. I'm not taking that away from him. What I'm saying is, if I don't support hypothetically that record right that's not just not supporting him now it's, it's not supporting the artists that i love and that don't that don't have shit to do with but that. in this okay and that could be true in a context of like somebody who's up and coming these niggas jack harlow rich. is up and coming jack harlow's white man fuck that nigga i don't care he's white so what go make your motherfucking money off the white people then they gonna listen to that shit they're gonna buy it right so then go make the fucking shit for them that's what white people do that's what black people need to do so let jack harlow were... go perform for his motherfucking white fans let them people buy it i ain't buying shit from that nigga he's, so but here's he's the canceled. thing here's the thing he's jack canceled. harlow has, J.W. I mean, jay lo jay w yes, has he's now, i would listen to jack Uzi harlow Bird. again but he's... i wouldn't support that record sorry jack harlow i'm supporting brianna taylor Facts. That's I'm supporting Rihanna Teller as well. So, so, so wait. So before we keep going on, so once we talk about this topic, is the next thing basically, are we supporting the artists he's worked with? Because he's worked with a lot of them. And so that would mean that we would have to that's cancel like, a that's lot like of we people. We cancel. That's like no, not I'm to not say, canceling not the people say, that work with him. Wait. I'm canceling the records but that no, he's produced. But he's so, produced a lot so, of records. So but they I'm don't saying. need that support. Then they're big. But wait. So wait. So wait. We cancel. So R. Kelly is canceled, right? That don't mean we cancel Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we're but not. that's my point. But, but what I'm saying is this. I'm talking about That's currently... the exact same thing, though. No, it's the not the same, same thing. thing. I'm going to tell you why it's not the same it, thing. Hold it's on. It's the exact same thing. No, it, it, it is. We're in a time right now where it is going to make or break our... Look, it's been this way forever. The culture is fucked up. Nobody cares about us. But I'm saying if we... Why if we, we got to allow them to do that my, my point right is this. Now. My point is this. Then we have to do it for entirely. Everybody entirely it's and not that, just that, that can be we have to do it entirely but, because at the end of the day we're supporting a lot of motherfuckers who's racist you yeah. shop at walmart racist like what's up like hold we're doing it like hold we on, are hold doing on. it like hold we have to start as on. a generation but that's my point when does it start i'm not yeah. saying that i'm not guilty of it too what i'm saying is if i can help it i will help it respect if and i'm not going to take one by one one by one one by one one by one if i don't have to go to walmart i will but i gotta eat nigga there's other shit that i need other places but anyway but they're not all convenient for all right, me. but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying It'll is, take away from me if I got to drive fair. to fucking Atlanta but to just get like, my just like, shit from Walmart. Just like, just like we can respect you Other saying you starting Walmart. one by one, you got to respect those who might not want to just not support their favorite artists. Not him, not J.W. Lucas, uh -huh. fuck him. They're artists though. No, I, I don't respect it. I don't respect it because you know better. Once you know better, you so do better. So what I will I say is it. a shout out to the activists. Um, so cool. no. Tamika, yeah. no, because what she said is from now on, nobody better work with him. So going no, yeah. forward, nobody no, right. better work that's with a fair now, now we have another thing, because now if we start seeing our if black culture work continually with him, work with him, now, now we have a problem. Yeah. But that has now been we have our a problem. problem since yeah. the beginning of time. And all I'm that saying is, point. if we don't start somewhere, it will continue. If we can help it, it is just a song. What's popping, it's good, but it's not a classic. It's not going to be forever, oh, I got to hear what's popping or I'm going to perish. Like, if you don't eat, yeah, you're going to perish. But, if you don't listen to what's popping, you will live. But now we're putting but now we're putting subjectiveness on was good, was right and wrong. Because but now it's like- I'm gonna tell you what the real if issue is. If, yeah, if, yeah. if we are not actually educating the youth who's actually streaming it on TikTok and these things, he's gonna get the money regardless. Like, just to be honest. So if we're not- And you know what right, it is if for we're me, not, If we're not addressing me, them, what it is then for it's gonna keep this. going. R. Kelly did not make- Okay, so, okay, I feel like this, and this is the difference between R. Kelly and J.W. Lucas. 
J.W. Lucas, you are a hypocrite because you are sitting, or Kelly made sexual freaky music. J.W. Lucas, you're saying that this girl deserved to die because she but you may have date, rappers, allegedly dated and drug dealers. But you're do, but you're working with them and you deserve to it's live. Controversial. Now you're a fucking hypocrite and you don't deserve to work with us because this is what so you really worse. think of us. So you'll make money off of the same you, people. You, what's worse? What's worse? Hey, look, 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 die because our Kelly on. told the truth and he and he did it. Ace ain't up. Wait, no, he calls himself the Pied Piper. That's which my is point. Kids. But that's what I'm like, saying. Come on, but that's like, my but point. That's no, my but point. You know, saying Lucas, that he's out you're there saying, with it. oh, it's bad that you know, she she deserved to get killed because she X, Y, Z. But nigga, you, you hang work with, with these drug dealers. But she, what she's saying is R. Kelly was making sexual music Kelly and called himself Pied Piper. That? No, no, no. no, no that's no, not what, that's what I'm saying. She what I'm saying is the difference in the two is what I'm saying. What upsets me so much about this man is that He's he, a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite, and, and he's he still is going to want racist, and he's still going to so want to work. Money. With, he's still going to want to work with and, and, the drug dealers. He is the collective. He's still going to go collect person. the money from is, the drug dealers. He is, as he, he is, says that he is the that's poster boy for what white people do to us, and that's what upsets me because you know that you make your dollar off of us, but you really don't like us, and that's how you really feel about it. You're just an idiot, and you got on there and said it. However. Watch people still support it. That's why they get away with that shit because we don't never hold them accountable. To sum up, what I will say is I like Sade action. If now, if these artists continue to get songs made by him, then we hold them accountable. But before they did, we didn't know. We just found out the artists. No, I'm not mad at the artists because guess what? It's just like the Tay and Nikki thing. Like if you got to make a hit, make a hit. But what I'm saying is this. I'm mad at J.W. Lucas. Fuck we him. all are. Yeah, I'm yeah. not supporting him. I don't give a we fuck. We all made a song with yeah, Michael like, Jackson. I ain't listening him, to him no more. First of all, I ain't because I'm just, I don't Taylor, want no be I don't want no beige people talking Breonna about Brandon Taylor. I'm Breonna sorry. Taylor I don't want to hear it. I don't. I'm dating I don't. drug dealers. Like they slept over my home. So I don't should want the I, police should, should should kicking I be my shot fucking up? and shooting me. And I'm a good person. And I'm I'm a I'm not no fucking criminal. Yo, let's 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 just. She didn't deserve to die. Justice for Breonna Taylor, they still Always. Can, absolutely. They need Every to day. arrest the fucking killers. They need to arrest J.W. Lucas for that bullshit he said. I like that. <laughs> Yo. Right along with the three claps. The Gemini I gotta Scorpio get their names podcast. again. We gotta see, cut, stop calling them three claps and cops and still keep saying their names. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? I like that, baby. Yeah. Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 34. 34. Shout out to the gang. Great episode, man. Shout out to everybody that came in. Shout out to Luke Belair for uh, sponsoring us. Shout out to Catch 22 for Pretty always holding us down with the hookahs. Uh, shout out to the whole gang, Joseph D. Fran, Lante, Monique, Pink uh, Celebrity, Malachi, Julian, uh, Alex, our guest host, Miss Greenaway, Hiller Bay. You already know the Mr. Vibes. J. Hill, Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Out. We out. It's a wrap. Gang, gang.